Oh, well, here we are. Welcome to Mark's Legion of Comics. Not Rob's Legion of Comics, but Mark's. Now, yeah. good morning. Happy Friday. Uh, if you like the link, you're not part of one of the chats that I was able to drop it into for the Legion chat or the Goon Squad, ping me via IG and I'll try to get it to you. I'm not very good at managing IG and YouTube at the same time, but I will do my best. Um, I'm going to have my first sip of coffee. Um, cancer free since 2023. Anyways, um, you know, not that I've actually had to fight cancer. Don't don't anybody misconstrue that. I just fight cancer indirectly through comics carrying cancer. Which, by the way, if you want to check out at comics carrying cancer on Instagram, you can notice that uh, we have the uh, new Austin LeMay limited print that King it was available at King Con. We have a few left. Uh, Izzy was there. He saw it. Fabulous. It's fantastic. It's amazing. Are you re you're referring to this thing? Um, I could be. Hold on. Let me make you even bigger. Boom. Look at that. So much bigger now. Mm -hmm. That is incredible. And it comes in a top loader, too. That's the crazy bit. And to be honest with you, this thing is cardstock. Nice. So it's, so it's not it's not a flimsy paper, so you can't you can't roll it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Man, we had a great time there. That weekend was amazing. <laughs> Super pen difficult. Oh, I see Izzy, you're practicing for becoming an old woman. Actually, that? although although I can I, although I'm sure it's practicality in New York. But no, the the little shopping cart. The only time I ever seen those, like uh... oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not an old woman thing. That's a that's a New York thing. <laughs> well, I'm sure it is. That's what I said. That's what sure it is. But the only time in like pop culture they're ever portrayed is like some little old woman carrying, bringing it, tug, tugging it behind her, <laughs> crossing the street. <laughs> it, it ain't complete without you know your Target bag to go along with it. So nice. <laughs> so, yeah, I forgot to put that away. So, what's going on, Rob? Oh, I could not sleep last night. I'm sorry. I, I went to I went to bed early. Yeah, because I have to wake up early for this show. You know, it's mm. here on the West Coast. It's four thirty in the morning. I went to bed at eleven thirty. Mm. That's early for me. Yeah. Actually, I tried to go to bed at eleven, but. Mm -hmm. My problem was I had taken a nap in my recliner unintentionally. <laughs> I had to, had YouTube on the big TV, was catching up on some YouTube. Boom. Yeah. Fall, fall asleep. I wake up. Try to go to bed. And for three hours, I tossed and turned in the bed till I finally mm -hmm. got up and I came out to the recliner and I started mm -hmm. to say, maybe I'll just go off. Oh, I know what will do it. I'll find some AEW. And I'll put that on because that puts me to sleep fucking religiously. I don't think I don't think this episode puts you to sleep though with some of the stuff that was going on. Oh, I saw this week's episode. But I mean but I mean religiously, i you know, it, it's no fail. But yeah. I didn't even get the TV on. As soon as I sat in a recliner and I started to I grabbed a blanket and all of a sudden I was like, Oh, oh I'm I'm feeling okay. Good night. <laughs> and I finally fell asleep. I wish I had moved out to the recliner hours ago. And so I could have gotten more than just an hour and a half of sleep. But yeah. So Mark, I'm I'm happy to see you because I do have a package to open. And I do believe this is a very important package. So hopefully this is the right package. I got a package <laughs> to send you to. So let's see. You won the Legion last Sunday too. Oh yeah! Oh cool! Yeah. Thanks. I gotta, I gotta it's been a very, it's away. been a crazy, it's been a crazy week to say the least. Um, That's... actually, crazy two weeks. But this yeah, one's not part of the Legion loop. But this is something that I wanted to open here. So, you ready for it? Mm -hmm. You're big, as big as I can make you, almost. Oh, Look nice. at that. <laughs> I love that That's awesome. I do too, dude. man. I really, I, I really love it. Unfortunately, because of the green. I can't always wear it with a green screen, but then again, oh, yeah, it, might yeah. look, it might look that'll really look, cool. That look interesting with that much little speckle of green and stuff. Imagine that. So there you go. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, I was like, thank you. I, I really did like I really like this shirt. I was like, I gotta get an opportunity to get a Legion shirt. 
And now, you know, I need to get a Goon Squad shirt pretty soon. There you go. We got yeah. uh, Clickman Durs is here. He says that Fallout is God tier. Wow. You know Durs loves his video game shows. <laughs> Liz Crucius, oh. he's impressed with Fallout, so this is pretty good. Scotty, of course, says, hey, I'm not first. You're last. <laughs> Space case cards. <laughs> I was not. <laughs> uh, apparently, he was not as impressed. He thought it was, meh, I'm hoping it gets better. Uh, well, he, I, I, is he referring to AEW now? I don't know. I think he's referring to Fallout still. because These uh, comments were here before I mentioned that. Mm. Now, uh, let's see. Ra- Rad Art and Comics just got done watching X Men. Yeah, I had told my wife. I told my wife <laughs> last night. I said, I "said Honey, we gotta, I gotta go watch that because apparently something happened. Something happened. Something happened, and everyone's gonna want. Everyone's talking about it, so I better watch it before Friday's show. So we watched that. Watched the latest Bad Batch, and then <laughs> let's see. Was, Hello, I'm Rob Fatstack. So here with Izzy, and we're live from Augusta, bringing you the 88th iteration of the greatest tournament. <laughs> In the world, the Masters. Is it the 88th mm-hmm. Masters? Yeah, it's up there. Fallout was two packs of ass. I disagree. <laughs> two packs of I watched uh, uh, six out of the eight episodes yesterday. I got off, I came home from work and fell asleep immediately. And slept for like two hours, woke up and ended up binge watching Fallout and making. Videos and stuff. Also, hey, this new Mazer, remember? Durs is back. Durs is back. Durs is back. He's new again. He's new. He's like a fresh baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a born again virgin. Well, I mean, he's back. Born again legionnaire. He's yes, <laughs> covered in juices. <laughs> Taco juice. Taco Bell juices. Mm-hmm. Uh, Must have lapsed this morning. Yeah, that's always weird. That's all. Yeah, it's always the. Um, he's, he's still on the wheel of names from last excellent. week. Hmm. I know I had mine was weird for a while. Like I had it set up. I had some. I had some money that was like sitting in the old Google pay or something back, back before now, now they've abandoned it. So it was like, you couldn't do anything with it, but it was in a lot. But so I had like anachronic comics set up to pay for membership through there. Cause it was only a dollar 99. I was like, Oh great. It can use up that little credit that was there for a couple months. And when you certain pay structures, it would actually like that. It would cause your membership to lapse at the end of every month, and it would restart up. It would restart up the next month. So every single month, Ooh. I would get this thing of, like, oh, you your membership is even restarted every month, even though it was on auto pay and everything. Versus the ones that were like going to PayPal or G or some or credit card or something, they don't have that issue. It's very weird. Mm. Anyways, uh, it's not, it's not falling now. I, I, I'm gonna, I don't. Fallout looks very visually enter- interesting, and I'll probably look at it at some point, but I'm not... I've never yeah, played the game, so I'm not super... Yeah, I'm, this is going to be a hot take. I, I, don't, I don't know anything about the games or anything. So just from a TV show perspective, mm-hmm. it's, uh, it's, it's, it's fine. It's entertaining. I wouldn't say it's bad at all, but I think that all the hype is just because of the violence. This is another scenario of the boys... Mm. Oh, oh! His head exploded. Oh, this is the greatest show ever. Oh, look at that! They shot his foot off. This is a ten. But it's not. It's not bad at all. No, it's not. I, I was, well, that, that's uh, that's not a fair set. There's. I literally have worked like I don't know, like what, like ninety hours in the past week and a half, and I stayed up till two a.m. It kept it kept me awake, man. Like. No, I get, I get that, Durs. I'm not saying that's off brand. I'm saying I think that's why people are like pushing it so high. The TV show, it's not bad. It, it gets a passing grade. There's nothing, but just from a pure show perspective, I think it's just like the viol- violence just really pushes the people's personal ratings of stuff so high these days. It's, I don't know. I've I've seen it. So what? the boys isn't good though, dude. You're you're, you think- you're smoking ketamine, my dude. If you think the boys is good, he's a boy season one. Dude. 
That's what I mean. Do you think the boys oh. wasn't wasn't the yeah, thing that yeah. started that? Would you think something like Walking Dead kind of? No, I don't think that? Uh, the Walking. I, I know they're two different types of genres, yeah, but it, I'm talking about the violence and the, the gore just, and I think stuff the like boys that. is just a more uh, newer comparison. Like the boys season one is good, mm-hmm. then it yeah. just steadily just goes down from there. It's like how can we shock the viewers into thinking this is good at that point? I watched. I made it through four episodes of Gen V. It's not good either. Like I don't. I don't care what anyone says. It's just shock value. Like sh- that's all it is. And if, if that's if shock value is fun for people, that's awesome. Like shock value bores me most of the time. So that's all we're doing is we're just waiting for shock value moment to shock value moment. Yes, it has, brother John. But it has it has some cool action scenes. I'm not going to lie that. But I don't. I don't need to see like. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, like I said, all I had seen was like trailer footage and it looked interesting, but you know, that's. It is. I thought it was actually kind of interesting was, was I'm not, I, you know, because I have Hulu and I have Disney Plus. So I'm used to seeing them in two different apps. And obviously mm-hmm. now you get a lot of the Hulu stuff is coming into, yeah. the, into the Disney Plus app. So it was very odd to me when I'm watch when I'm in the Disney Plus app to watch the, uh, X Men and to watch um, Bad Batch. Then it'll come back out to the main menu, and in there, of course, yeah, there's Shogun, which is okay. But then it was the um, that Poor Things movie, which I ju- oh, just watched, Emily, which I just watched, which I just Emily, watched recently, and I was like, oh, oh, that's a Disney Stone Plus. Movie? Talking about the Emma Stone movie, yeah, well, yeah. That's, porn, that's straight up porn, <laughs> almost, almost. <laughs> but I'm like, oh. That's in that's a Disney Plus. Hmm. Hey, what's watch this movie with a what's watch this princess movie? Nope, not a princess movie. Oh, it's the princess movie, all right. It's just not the type of princess movie you want, or you think, or maybe it is the type of princess movie you want. It's definitely a fantasy world. Yeah, I'm with brother John. Like we, I bet, I bet you, mom, bet you, Reacher pulled more numbers than uh, the boys or Gen V or Gen Z, whatever it is. Reacher was good. It's waiting for another season, right? Yeah, they 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 rushed that one. Like they didn't premiere season two before they were sharing. Yeah, on season three set photos. That one you know, I see. We keep waiting. I'll tell you what almost killed the lights at Amazon, and that was Lord of the Rings. That was that show was expensive and didn't get them the returning viewers. But they're in for a penny, in for a pound on that one. Yeah, the uh, the other one was. Oh, Tulsa Kings is the one I keep hoping that they come back with. But now I'm reading all this stuff with that the Stallone <laughs> potentially t- speaking derogatory about background actors and whatnot that were there, and so who knows what happens with that? And what yeah. happened with Stallone? So I haven't read the full articles, only the headlines. So God only fucking knows in reality. But the headlines were suggesting that he is being inve- they're investigating. Whether or not he was speaking using derogatory terminology and whatnot, referring to some of the background actors while filming oh Tulsa they Kings can, or something. They, can they, always they always do that. Don't Whoever they? they are can go get fucked. And, and the question becomes then: Is is he really using is he using derogatory terms intentionally? Is he using because he's a seventy fucking five year old man and he's using language that's normal for? And then yeah. now that, that in today's world you can't call him an Indian, you know, or something like that, so you know, type so of thing. Go, I don't know. They'll take him the, the they need to well, make a list for, for set like well, this this set's level of offense is is up here. Here's a list of the offenses. And then instead but, of getting mad at Stallone, they should just fire anyone. And again, else. I don't know. I'm just yeah. using that as a suggestion, so, so, but I didn't read the article. I don't know. So it, in what kind of content would you say is it appropriate or inappropriate? And if it's the show and it's in the process of the show, would it right. be fair? So yeah, if it's if it's part of the script and stuff. Yeah, if it's part right. of it, especially so, the time so, period, right? So I so I don't well, it's not time period is contemporary here, but again, if it's part of the show, script, whatever, that's one thing, right? And it's yeah. another thing if it's a term that was acceptable, but you know, isn't some people don't find it acceptable today like indian yeah. is one of those terms that like some people still say it's okay but some people say no it's not okay you have to call them native americans and, 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 I, don't, and I don't, they don't that, even like that <laughs> right and i don't know that that's the case here because i did not read the article again 
all I did it was a headline that scrolled across my thing, and I was like, oh, oh, I hope that doesn't affect. Background me. actor was replaced for a uh, for an, a more desirable background actor. He's stating that S Sylvester Stallone uh, allegedly described him as a tub of lard and fat guy with a cane. <laughs> Okay. He's fat, a fat guy fat with a guy, cane. Got it. Yeah. A tub of lard. I like that term. Though. That's old school right there. That's old school. I love that. Because you never heard one of the director utter disparaging words about background actors that day, but he's convinced some of those comments were directed at him personally after he read about them on a private Facebook page for background actors. He didn't hear it, but he. He heard it on Facebook that they said oh, it. Oh, right. Okay. So hearsay got right. Okay. So you see, this is the shit that makes the two <laughs> rounds good. So hopefully it means nothing. They move on. All right. Moving right along. You know what show I've, I'm have i getting slowly yeah. caught up on? And I every time I watch it, I think of Mark. Silo. No, Will Trent. Will Trent. That's an ABC it's, show, right? It's an ABC ABC show. Yeah, it's a detective show, but he works for the Georgia Bureau of Investigations. And he's, oh God, don't oh, trust them. So he's always he's always there at the. Well, that's the whole thing: is the cops don't trust the GBI, and he's always uh, having to work with them. He's like, they kicked I'm him. not a cop, and even if I was a cop, I wouldn't trust the feds. Oh, dude, it was, <laughs> it was great. No, not the not the feds. They're state police. No, Georgia State Patrol. I wouldn't trust them either. The, 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 the They're thing. all feds, Rob. They're all well, feds. They start, I mean, they got an interesting thing, I think, with the whole thing with the 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 main character. He's dyslexic and functionally illiterate because he can't from that. But then he's like his partner is mom is the he they start off the show where he had investigated the police got a bunch of police removed or whatever, and he got his uh one of the cops that got removed daughter is now his partner. <laughs> so it's like a lot of uh I don't know. I've been finding the show somewhat interesting. It's not a great show, but I find it very interesting. There you go, Becker. Him and Joe yeah, watching together his research. No, yeah, exactly. I guess that's what Rob's doing, Becker. Yeah, exactly. I did tell my wife about you know you sent me your little uh, proactive research for us um, about Becker. Uh, Becker worked it up and sent it to me to send to you. Oh, okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. So Becker's in on this giant commune that we're all gonna have apparently, right? We're gonna have a, yes. we're gonna we're gonna buy a cul-de-sac together and we're all gonna live <laughs> next door <laughs> in the in the cul-de-sac. I, I think we should do it. <laughs> and then then when anybody comes into our cul-de-sac, we can all stare out our windows looking at them like <laughs> Oh now get <laughs> I don't think you belong around here. <laughs> so did did you hear the good news about CGC this morning? Oh, I saw your post, and I went, you "Oh, what do you do?" That's like ev not a surprise. It was a foregone conclusion. I don't recall them doing that before. They I, were there. They like were there last years year. Ago. No, no, they're there. That part, of, that part's not new. It's on. It's on premise. Oh, they'll grading. be doing on-site grading. Yeah. Oh. That's that's a big deal. I want to see how that they'll works. They'll probably do that, probably because. You know, CBCS is going to be there, and CBCS has announced like a couple shows this year where they're doing on site raw grading. Mm -hmm. So, so pretty much what they're going to do is they're going to grade your book, tell you what you're grading, and then tell you this is what we're going to slab it in, and then they'll send it out to the to ship. Because they're, uh, they're not uh, going to slab on the spot. I, I don't right. see that. So there's... Oh, CGC is there, like normal. Yeah, well, but they're well, we guess they're gonna they're gonna grade them on site and let you know what the grade is, but they're not gonna encapsulate them there. They're still gonna have to send them back to Florida yeah. to get encapsulated. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna bring a couple graders with them. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. It'll, it gives us an excuse to go walking over there as a mass herd yelling, Hey <laughs> it's my nine point nine button. <laughs> Yeah, my plan is to sit on a porch in a rocking chair next to AR like the old guys in the Boone's Farm commercial. Mm. <laughs> I've never seen the Boone's Farm commercial out here, but we had the uh, Bartles and yeah. James commercial. I um, remember the Bartles and James commercials. Rick Moranis. Mm. Uh, <laughs> that drip dry, you got to put it close. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I used to see you stand there in your 
in your living room. Just stay there watching. Drip, dripping wet, naked. <laughs> yeah, there you go. James Brown is too. Okay, maybe maybe that was it. Well, I don't know. You could be either word, Becker. I don't know. But yeah. I don't know. My my wife's first reaction to the whole thing was what? And have swamp ass? Yeah, she's she's from Maryland and she has this like fear of humidity everywhere. <laughs> I don't blame her because it is a, a fear of mine. <laughs> I'm a, I, I like living in a in a in an area where our humidity is mild. When it gets to fifty percent, we go, "My God, this humidity is killing me." It's not bad right now. It's super nice right now, well, except yesterday because it rained yesterday morning. So it was like it was like a Georgia seventy eight. Which means like all, all the rainwater doesn't leave, it just sticks around and gives you the middle finger. Mm. <laughs> but today it should be it should be pretty decent today because it was like mad windy yesterday. So it should be all right today. Yeah. Yesterday was uh, yesterday have, was pretty nasty over here. Still kind of nasty out there. We're in a cooling trend because it's supposed to rain this weekend. No, so oh, oh. A warming trend, Rob. Warming trend. No, no, it's cooling for us because we were at eighty degrees. Now we're gonna, by for Saturday's rain, we're gonna drop down to sixty. Um, the ice caps disagree with you. I'm told. I'm telling you what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer to live where the cost of living is mild. Rob's cost of living gives me swamp ass. <laughs> well, don't get me wrong, I. I, I like I, to get you right. Here, here's here's where I f- I feel strongly about where, where I live. I don't mind it right now while I'm working, but no. when I when I when I need to preserve my income uh, and make the, make because I don't want to work anymore, uh, this ain't the place for me. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh, you, you, so, 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 where, so where's the plan? So what's the plan? I, I don't have one yet, other than to he, uh, he does. Uh, Mark oh, has a, a plan for me. That's better. I I I I have I have <laughs> yet to completely settle on anything. I like to. Uh, I haven't even gone gone and really done my investigations yet. How's that? So. Well, he hasn't he hasn't looked up Zillow to see which house it'll be. But once his wife <laughs> once his wife retires, you know, and gets that full package, they're just they're just coming home. Oh, I won't. I so. won't put, whatever I do, I won't be pulling what my cousin did, which is just go buy a house on his own. Without telling his wife and say, "Hey, guess what?" Yeah, that's not a good idea. <laughs> I bought a house on miss, the river. Yeah, let Mister Stacks check it out. You know the cool thing is, is like there's like, dude, you would man, some of the backyards here, like some of the setups, especially if you get like one of the, uh, like I know like the some nope. people might think older house that's crazy, but You're around right, really? here, around here the older house are most certainly the better houses, and I'm not just talking about just for size purposes. Like newer house, like most houses, you get good size yards in pretty much everywhere. But like some like the stone and brick work and stuff, and the like eccentric patios and back porches, and like my last house had a uh, grill built into, like built into the uh, the the porch and stuff. Like there's just like it's the south, so it's like made for being outside in a lot of situations. You know, like people design stuff thinking that you like sunlight. You know. Yeah, no, I, I have no desire to have like these because I always first thing people tell me, oh, you know how much a big of a house you get or how much land you get. I was like, I don't want all that. You want to that's, maintain that's, all that? Exactly. I said, I don't want to be a rancher. I don't want to be a. <laughs> I don't want to have to have a home. A frontiersman. So I don't want to have a home that I need to have I a wanna, freaking I wanna, computer. I want a home, with my not a homestead. Yeah, it's, I, I don't want. I don't want a house that I need to catch the train to get yeah. to the other room. You know. You know, it's like. Or did I have to really give it? you the key to your house in the week? Just God forbid if I have to like clean that much space, right? And I was like, mm-hmm. oh, I just need as I was told, I, said, I just need like maybe, you know, maybe I just need to, be able to have my bedroom, one guest bedroom because I don't want more than one guest at a time, and then like you know, an office or two. Yeah, that'd be easy to find a three bed. Four, if you go for it, like I said, one room for my wife's office, one for me, and you can do that in my neighborhood. So, like, I'll, yeah. I'll start sending you photos. Yeah, there you go. When I see <laughs> call, 
the real I'll estate do, agent out there. I'll send you two photos, you. one of the front of the house with the sign, and I'll just let you know, peek over the fence and send you that port shot. <laughs> He's going to send the drone up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll just walk. I'll oh. say, howdy. I'll, I'll just walk on. Howdy. Trying I'm to buy your legal. house. Yeah, we're all returning to Augusta. I'm not <laughs> taking it back on it. <laughs> yeah, we need Think how big a wild box would be. Yeah, it's true, but but and hear me out on this one, brother John. The uh, I have to have a for my regular storage. I would have to get temperature controlled and climate controlled storage there. Easy. Yeah, but I'm just saying that's different than I what I have now. How much? Just say if, like on an approximate level, how much is the? I know you were you're familiar enough with storage. What does that run you about now? No, no I don't. Not necessarily for, you, but I don't pay for storage. It's in my garage. I know you don't. I know you don't. I'm not talking about your comics. I'm talking about your kid who you have to put into storage like every year. Oh the well, there that's like in Utah and stuff, and it was like that's a small little five by five locker or something. Like what does that so, go for? So like I actually I actually have a five by five locker here right now temporarily because I need to get a new shed built down the down the road, and um, so all my like folding tables and folding chairs and ice chests and chafing dishes and all the stuff I use for my big cookouts and barbecues and whatnot um, are in there. And that's like 80 bucks a month, which is a lot, but the Utah one used to be like 60 bucks a month. Mm-hmm. What is Kaya? But, Kaya. Uh, Kaya is it, isn't that uh, the same thing as like a price line and no, that's kayak. Uh, okay. Not like a canoe. Kayak. Well, the kayak is also a little boat, personal boat. Yeah, I don't know what kayak is underrated. Maybe it's a town or something. I don't know. My plan is to wander <laughs> in and out of Mark's house enough so they don't notice. <laughs> We're out of chicken strips, Kyle. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hate when my dishes chafe. Hell with that. I hate it more when something else chafes. But you know, speaking of swamps, <laughs> yeah. The thing. Okay. That's why we invest heavily in the Duluth Trading Company. (laughs) (laughs) Buck naked. Uh, mm. Their catalogs are fun to read, I tell you what. (laughs) And they make perfect clothing for dad dad, for old dads. (laughs) Cargo. Pargo dad pods. Buds. Dad, dad buds, buds. Too, yeah. <laughs> Pants that stretch. Underwear that stretches. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting confused. It's so it's like five o'clock in the morning. And my wife's walking around the house because she's gotta get to work early. So I'm confused seeing her walking around this early in the morning. I get to go in a little bit late today. Lucky you. I'm excited. I'm so up to work. <laughs> But instead of doing about 11 and a half hours, we'll do about nine hours. It's not bad. Mm. Just yeah. a haircut. Yeah. Let's see here. Twig it, with story? Twig is that what story. Kaya is? I don't know. Well, I, I ended up putting Kaya and ended up getting like a humanitarian site or something like that. So. <laughs> Like, you well, know, you've been on you've been on worse sites. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, you know, so. <laughs> the browser's so. a waste again. This isn't like your normal history. Well, if you turn if you turn a new leaf, is he? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, that was a problem getting into this show this morning for me. Was like, yeah, I've been having. So I log into this to do this show. I do it on my work computer because I'm usually work working part of the time while we're doing. Yeah, it. I consider this work for you as well. And. Uh, <laughs> I <laughs> I had some some issues with our payroll uh, system where I couldn't log I couldn't approve my team's time card so I had to clear all the browser cache and everything and all the cookies and in doing so of course it wiped all the cache I had of the passwords for Streamyard and Instagram uh, because I yeah. because I don't save my personal passwords on my work computer that's like that's smart. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I so I had to actually go look them, you know, look them up in my password keeper and <laughs> figure. 
and it took, it took me longer to log in than normal. No, no, no. I on the phone. There's digitally encrypted password. There's a password keep from uh from G, from Google that has. Uh, yeah. right. Pretty good about remembering. Oh, okay, passwords. you're in North North Bay, California. So uh, I'm in the South Bay of California. If by Bay we refer to San Francisco Bay. Well, so you're talking about the same bay, or you like? Well, there are multiple bays in California, but you. Usually... What if using the north end of a bay that's more southern than your southern bay? Right, but most of the t- most of the time, when we talk about the bay, if you're in Northern California, we refer to it. We mean Sa- San Francisco yeah. Bay, not Monterey Bay, and but Southern California they might refer to San Diego Bay or something. But I mean, so yeah, we only have bay, bay Plaza. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm in uh, the San Jose area. Near the Niners Stadium, he's in can, North I, Bay. California. Would the Niners score a touchdown? If I can hear the foghorn, oh, you need your address or your at. Where are you at? I've done did Where that. are you at? Where you at? Where are you, Amber Sand? Well, I Amber Sand my ass right <laughs> here. Yep. There you go. The Masters is very inconvenient to me. Oh, that's pretty cool, Izzy. What is that? A puzzle. It's a puzzle, but it's a it's not just any puzzle. It's an Arthur yeah. Adams one thousand piece puzzle. You should put it together real quick. Yeah. So I was thinking about doing a ASMR type of video type of thing for this thing. But it was funny because I wanted this as a poster. So there was actually a pr- he was selling a print, but I think he was overpricing it for like like a hundred bucks. Um but I didn't want to spend that kind of money on a print. Well, just um, save a high res image and take yourself to Kinko's and make you one. Yeah, I wouldn't do that to him. They, actually, some some places won't let you. They won't let you print make the prints. It depends. But I'm sure you'll like this one. Who's the cover artist on that one? Um, a guy named Blank. Oh, okay. Banks, he heard. <laughs> John Doe. He, he, apparently, he's done this one, too. He did this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it does look very similar. I'm yeah, very similar. That guy. It's kind of it derivative, like, though. I think I've seen that even like on Batman books and stuff, too. You know, oh, we, yeah. we, talk, we talk a lot about homage covers, but I think this is the most homage cover. No, no, it's still, it's still Spider-Man. It's still Spider-Man. Oh, you mean this one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I or or yet the oh, yeah I know where bus. I know where Petaluma is. <laughs> you know so, now you, now what you got to do just because it says red coat on it is you need to instead have like Thomas Jefferson or Paul Revere put on it. <laughs> so so apparently I'm going to go to Fan, I'm going to go to Fan Expo um at the at the beginning of the month in, in May, and it turns out the Ghost Machine gr- that crew is going to be there. Yeah. Yeah, they're going cool. to be all kinds of places riding that hype train. Hell, they've even well, been on Legion of Comics. I know, right? It's crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, that was a that's that was what, fantastic that's, stream, man. That's when you know you've gone big. <laughs> when they got when when you you end up in the Legion of Comics stream. That's when I knew I made it big. That was that's very cool. surreal. That is cool, man. That was cool. The, mm-hmm. the part, the part I, I thought was the the most cool part was the the part that yeah, what you got against Junkyard said, Joe? Why no Junkyard Joe? That's what Space Case was. No, my favorite line was, "Oh, Mark, if you were my friend in high school, you would be my best friend." Like, yeah, look at that, that was my favorite part too. <laughs> yeah, it's like, look I'm at like, that. So what? It's like, so what can you tell us? Okay, well, first, uh, just want to say, if you went to high school together, you'd be my best friend. I'm like, Jesus, yeah, I think so, man, probably. <laughs> Junkyard Joe returns in Geiger issue number three. Why no Junkyard Joe? Because the last time we saw him in the future story, he was shut down from the beating that Geiger gave him. And last time we saw him in the past, he was doing a grill out with his family wearing a Hawaiian shirt. And Geiger and the Northerner and Barney popped through a portal and checked on him and said, oh, no, they've seen us. And they hopped back into the portal. But he, uh, he'll, be, he'll be back. I'm excited. I hope we get the. Uh, I hope they reactivate the one in the future, like for the story right now. I hope it's like farther down the timeline. Mark, I keep falling. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, I'll see. tell you. <laughs> Mattina. <laughs> it's ma- it's ma- Mattina. It's Mattina. <laughs> I don't know why that- he, so, he so, has, he's a huge Matina fan. Oh, yeah. He loves Matina. It's like his, so, was his second favorite cover artist of all time. And you know how many artists Becker like? Right, right. No, no, I get it. I was, I was, I was like, well, I don't. I don't watch out. Case, that, that red coat was, uh, did it for me. Red coat. Currently, I think red coat is the one that uh, I'm enjoying the most. And, for the ones that are upcoming, I think the monster I'm the most curious about because I feel like we have so many, so many hints and little uh, information things about the monster dropped all through what we have so far, and he's massively present already. I'm not off, Alan. I just get to go in a little late. By a little late, what do you mean, like nine? Or, yeah, we're between like nine nine thirty. Well, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let everyone get on the golf course, and then I want to head up there. No, like real specific time. <sighs> I just it just has to be before ten because I want to get there and send everybody out. Like what I've been trying to do to cut back on payroll is everybody comes in and gets everything open, reset, cleaned up, fed, medicated, all that stuff, Get let the little dogs go out and get a couple times on the yard and then give them an extended lunch break. Because it's kind of like deadlock, you know, I explained how everyone just, it just fills up and no one really comes and goes. So yeah, you yeah. don't, you don't need as you much don't need staff. Five, yeah. You don't need five people there to, to stare at dogs in, in their room that get outside on their own in their room and all that. Yeah, unless, unless you're actively playing with them or something, yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'll end up keeping one person back to run the bathtub. So then you have you have one person answering the phone and kind of just uh, cycling dogs on the play yard, which, you know, you just take one out, bring one in, take one out, bring it. It just doesn't take that many people. They, they don't like it if, uh, if they get bored because I find stuff for them to do. It just pesters me having too many people standing around me. I gave Alan's dog a haircut the day before yesterday, I think it was. Oh, yeah? yeah. Old Briar. Good dude. Good dude. He's got a, he's got a sweet dog. That's cool. Mind is mine is uh asleep. That's how I feel. <laughs> although I although it's hilarious was yesterday I was um uh, I was doing a, we had a ha- we were doing ham. So we had ham. <laughs> Was it a rum ham? No. But uh-huh. so hams had been on sale because you know, Easter was gone and they had lots of hams, so they were on sale cheap. Yeah, so we picked up a couple hams because you know, shit, the fuckers last forever since you know put them in the fridge and they're good for months before you have to consume them. So last night we do it up. I throw it up, throw it out on the grill to to warm it up. You know, put it in with some uh, peach syrup for the liquid mm. base to, to go, so it gets a nice peach flavor to it all. It's, oh, wow, it's great. Um, Again, you're conditioning yourself for that retirement move. Exactly, <laughs> peaches and <laughs> ham. <laughs> but so the the dog went outside and then parked its ass right next to the grill. <laughs> at what you know after it, after it had been on for about an hour and a half and it was like starting to be nice smell. So yeah, the dog was just parked there, staring and every once in a while licking its lips, <laughs> looking at the grill, <laughs> just waiting on anything to happen. Anything, drop something, hand me something. Anything. Exactly. If it happens, I'll let you know, Rob. Exactly. This is now my job. This is why I was born. I got this covered, boss. Yeah. <laughs> Watch That's the ham funny. cook right here. Thing must have smelled amazing. Oh, it was great. I never I had thought about stuff. like a peach base, you know, like honey ham is what. Well, yeah, because usually you take a ham, you know, you put it, you, you you tent it, and you put some you put some liquid in there to uh, to let it. Uh, keep it moist while it steams and reheats. And so some people, you know, we've used anywhere from pineapple juice and apple juice and stuff. But I, what I'll do is I'll, because I like to have cottage cheese and peaches and such. 
So mm -hmm. we get the jars at peaches, and when they're done, I'll I'll put I'll take that peach syrup jar, put it back in the fridge, and then next one I open up, I pour it in, I get a jar full of peach syrup, and then I just pour that peach syrup over the ham and into the pan and tent it and use that as the base with the peach syrup. Phenomenal. That's pretty cool. Good morning, Esteban. Little Monsters, you guys think, may be a show. I remember that movie, Little Monsters, with Fred Savage. Like That's all I remember, movies. yeah. 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 Is Same that dude. what is Little Monsters that you're referring to, Space Case? Is that like the comic that's coming out right now? My life goal is to someday have Mark rescue me from the ocean because I'm all drunk on ham. <laughs> so it's always Sunny reference. It's the the wrong ham. Ham. Yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a simple person when it comes to ham. I don't. I know my dad likes to always put like apricot glaze and shit on it. Well, I don't. I don't need to put a glaze on it. I just on the, let the ham speak for itself. God damn it! <laughs> serve it. Stop some, interrupting the ham. <laughs> serve it. Serve it some gratin potatoes and some and some applesauce. And... So, a little monsters is a comic. He possibly Lemire, Jeff Lemire. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, Jeff Lemire. Who's the Dustin Nguyen? Give us some info, Izzy. What's it about? Little vampires, I think, I believe last time. It's 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 been out for a while though. It's about, over, about Frankenstein, over but he's a short he's short people or little people. Well, you know that movie Abigail that's coming out? Mm, I don't think so. I've seen pictures. Abigail is, is so a whole bunch of they kidnapped this little they kidnapped this rich girl. Mm. Turns out the rich Man girl on fire. I've seen that one. Yeah. Um, turns out the rich girl's a vampire. I haven't seen that one. It's actually a pretty cool concept. So it's the same concept of kidnapping a kid, but and then they find out that. that the kid's a vampire. That's why you shouldn't do that. This is a cautionary tale for all you kidnappers out there. Yeah, you you never know. You might kidnap a <laughs> you might kidnap a vampire. You might kidnap the wrong one. Mm-hmm. That was a good movie. Let the wrong one in or let the right one in or whatever. <laughs> Tasting blood for the first time for World W No Humans. Is a kid Dakota Fanning might still be man on fire. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think yeah, it might, I, might still be. I think Dakota Fanning is a little bit older now. Yeah, man on fire. I want some, I want some more. <laughs> yeah, that, I love man on fire. That was really good. Isn't man on fire pre pretty much a Punisher story? Yeah. <laughs> Burke says he can't wait to watch the Masters at work. At work today. Oh, we shouldn't you be watching the kids at school? <laughs> Or maybe teach them something? Or teach them something. <laughs> Call me crazy. But that's just me. I think the kids are a little important right now. Well, over here we're having ELA tests. So it's like assessment tests. So it's not really yeah. watching. You just got to literally just be there while the kids don't cheat. Still, I just feel like, I don't know. Although I did, I did like uh, clickbait. Burke um, had another <laughs> another great uh, video where it starts down one path and turns out completely the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm glad for you though, Burke, that you didn't have to that you didn't have to <laughs> send the books back in. <laughs> We can't all have videos exactly saying what they're what you're doing, like yours, Rob. No, no, no. Sure I, good, I don't. Bro. I don't look. <laughs> PGX videos. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, I'm more teasing than anything else. It's it great because he was genuinely upset and irritated, but then he resolved itself within his message. So why not? <laughs> That's how you gotta get people to watch some of the videos. Sometimes I get it. I understand. Yeah. 
get this. Steve thing. went through a whole range of emotions in his most recent. Yeah, video. It really, it was. It really probably showed his best uh, dynamic range as an actor. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, who knew? I just left a, a normal comment. It, it, shake when I was saw a little weird. Yeah, I don't. When know. the uh, when the ball dropped, I just left my normal comment like, "Yeah, that's a that's an interesting place to send your packing slip," kind of thing. Yeah, and then I then I saw like how how let down he really was, and I'm like, I got a comment again. Well, it's great you completed the set, cool books. And by the end, he was happy. I'm like, thank God, because this is about to be sad. Well, because I mean, the giveaway was when you when it, well, I don't want to talk to take it away from people who haven't seen the video, but I mean, he had the he had the scans from before they left there. So yeah, you that, so you knew that it had it was something that had to happen in transit. So yeah, he yeah. did throw up the shake weight ad in there, which was right. hilarious. Like he's pointing out. Yeah. <laughs> there there you go. <laughs> Burke, Burke's video is one of the videos I watched last night that I didn't fall asleep during. Yeah, <laughs> Kept me up. So, In all so, honesty, you know, I know exactly the problem was I deviated from just watching nothing but comic book videos. I was mm-hmm. I there was a there was a video about the Russians attempt to land on Mars um, back in the late back in the 60s. And huh. I started to watch that and that had me fall asleep. Did they make it? <laughs> Did, um, was it a video of them actually going to Mars? Just so it was about them? the it was it was talking about the space race and the and trying to get to Mars and that there were basically in the sixties there was like ten attempts to yeah, go to Mars race. and yeah. like three of them by the U.S. and like seven by the Russians and of them uh, the all two successfully that land that got there were two of the U.S. ones one of the U.S. ones failed and then all the Russians ones failed but the closest was that there was one from Russia that landed it managed to sand like five seconds of footage and then it that was it that was the end of it and <laughs> five seconds wow something like that I fell asleep during it man but it was like they kept talking about how like they'd launch or something and it somehow would fail and then mm-hmm. they so then they would rename it something else and claim that Oh yeah, no, no, that wasn't going to Mars. We don't, you know, they, so that way they couldn't, they, they didn't have failures. Like they had one that, like, they launched. It was supposed to, like, the rocket, you know, the fuel, you know, it was supposed to, like, have some booster fire off after 150 minutes or something. I don't know. And it, this it, was it, Operation it was, Self-Destruct. You had it wrong. It was, this was not Operation was, Mars. This was Operation Failure to Launch. It's, instead, somehow the clock got set to like 150 <laughs> years or something. So like the, the, the rocket, so like the satellite went into Earth orbit and stopped and like never... Oh, the monkey and the dog. Yo, that was a, a Jeff Lemire story called Primordial. Mm, oh, yeah. yeah a little mini cool. series about what happened to those silly those Russia critters. Earth is flat. <laughs> They didn't know. Oh, they got the Funko Pop of the final boss. Wow. Samoa Joe? Wait. Oh. <laughs> the Rock. I just got a I just got the message, so look at that thing. <laughs> of course they do. Of course That's they pretty, do. That's pretty quick. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey lady. Yeah. I put my hand up on my hip when I dip you dip we dip. And your milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. And they're mm-hmm. like, it's better than yours. Yeah. There you What's are. Up? How you doing? I sold my condo. Nice. Congratulations. And I didn't have to pay any realtors fees. Fuck you and your six and a half percent. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For, out here, they don't get six and a half percent, but they don't need six and a half percent to make their money. <laughs> no, I bet, yeah. For, yeah. Where you're at, a good three will fucking, yeah, but anyways. <laughs> Your, our six and a half cents uh, percent is probably would be in California. Your three percent to us would be like twelve percent or something. Yeah, the, at one point I remember seeing during the one of the big booms when it was really going crazy. I remember seeing realtors advertising like two percent fees or something like that because it was okay two percent on two million. You know. <laughs> yeah, um, that's like signer math right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited. Oh, look at that! And... The, the freaky ones in the house says. Congratulations. Thank you, Louie. This means I get my own lady cave. Woot. You guys get to have a man cave. 
No, no. I mean a real lady cave, not the one I was born with, but like a one, a room. <laughs> so you're Are you now, one. now, let me ask you this question, because if you're going to have a true lady cave, true. are you going to have a piano that when you hit just the right key, that a secret panel opens up to a set of poles that you can slide down that pole? See, that sounds like Gomez Adams, and I don't sounds have like that. Stripper? To me. stripper? Yeah, oh, sliding down a pole. Oh, oh! <laughs> you have to slide. No. Yeah, yeah, unlike Batman, who goes down feet first, you have to wrap your feet around the pole, flip over so your head down, and then slide down the pole that way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I could do that. I, I believe yeah. in you. Not, um, where are you moving to? Are you staying a... in town? Are you staying in town where you're at? Are you making are you a big move? Oh yeah, 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 I am. So. um I'm really close to downtown where I'm at now and it's a really nice location, but it's not a lot of room. And so I'm actually moving my mom and my brother have a condo um, a little outside town in the same um, condo like complex. And I got, I'm going to get a condo there and we're just going to be like the shameless. We're going to be like the shameless family and run this place into the nice. ground and be amazing. Yeah. No, I'm really excited. Um, I'll be essentially like for the same price, getting about two and a half times the um, the square footage nice. that I have now. And so having an extra get the clean twice as much. Uh, yes, but um, no, I have an extra ba bathroom and an extra bedroom and like more of a living room, so I can have like humans come and actually stay if they want or right now. limited yeah. to only or humans this kitty can have her own room <clears throat> i was only expecting human guests but like i could have other guests like okay. mostly i was just planning on me and miss kitty joint and like she would be the other non-human or the only non-human but like she could change you know what i'm saying Bert, we appreciate your great uh, interest rate. Well, we were talking actually about realtor commission rates as opposed to uh, real estate rates, but that's great. Um, definitely keep that for as long as you can. Don't pay it so, off early. Uh, I was one of those who never watched the American Shameless. I watched the UK Shameless with James McAvoy as like the boyfriend. Um, yeah, and uh, I loved it. It was even worse. <laughs> you thought the... But just like if you watch the UK office, it's like even more awkward. I've, I've started to watch the UK one in bits and pieces. I mostly had watched the American version, but I got distracted by other things. I don't think. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's just like there's shameless, but I feel like a more accurate representation of what poverty is for me would be Squidbillies. Um, <laughs> but. You know, I thought and, that, and, I, that's how I have envisioned Mark, me, and Becker living together in the cul de sac. Mark should there. know, like, Mark, is it they're so accurate with those squid billies? Like, that's that's how, like, I would say the shape of some of the characters are off by a fraction. That's about just it. a fraction, <laughs> right? Um, and I hide my tentacles well, but generally, like, that culture, man, it's just I love it. Dan Halen, <laughs> he's so funny. Anyways, American offices office is superior. Um, so I don't have as much of a space cards. I don't have as much as of a strong feeling on that one. You know, you might be right. Um, he is. I feel yeah, Michael. Um, the the Carell, Steve Carell, Michael on the American side is more lovable and for like in, innocent. And I feel like Gervais is more of just like. A clueless dick, but always a dick. Um, it's just a show that I've tried. I've never. I mean, maybe I've tried hard enough to like. I don't know. I, I. Everybody it's talks. Okay. Everybody. There's, it's one of those shows. Like it's like Community is the same way. People talk about it all the time. They say how great it is. But when I try to watch it, I'm like, oh, eh, I don't know. It's not. The Office is is really fantastic. It, it is. It takes a little bit, like any show, to get. Into it, but it's, See, I guess maybe that's my problem. I need to do that because that's what happened with Parks and Rec. Was people mm -hmm. told me like, "Oh, you got to get past the first season." It's like, why do I have to get past the first season for a show? But but it was true. Once you got past it, it's like they okay, find their the legs. The, the, you yeah. have to understand you know, the cast the really gets to know. Yeah, the cast mm -hmm. gets to know each other and they find each other's strengths and stuff, and they really lean into them. 
All of your plaza. We do have to. We do have to do pause just for a moment. We have to okay. recognize the Thomas greatness that is that that tank top. Look at that. That <laughs> cancer tank here top. It all. Phenomenal. That's not right. To mention, not to mention that Madam, you know, is here. She represents. Well, and, 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 <laughs> Thank you. Ha happy that. belated birthday. You, 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 happy 29th. We know that you under only celebrate your 29th 15 or 20 times. No. So, God, 29th. Jeez. Congratulations. 20, 20 at least, let's say. Um, oh. Thank you. Well, 20, <laughs> um, make it 21. That way you could, you know. You could go out and yeah, party. Yeah, just turned 20. Right. <laughs> just, yeah, just make it more and more believable. Um, anyway, I wanted to say, Rob, uh -huh. that I did, in fact, get my my comic Curing Cancer shirt. You know, I was uh -huh. so excited. And I was like, this is awesome. And then I realized I bought two. Nice. Whoa. Only, yeah, only so three. I'm going to have to give one away, I think, for, for C3 when I give away a or, sketch or something. Or who knows? Maybe, maybe it just means you don't have to do laundry as often. There you go. Uh, this is now true. you can wear one every day. Yeah. <laughs> you have one for the one for the gym and one for the uh, one for around the house. Oh, that's interesting. What yeah, if you uh, work out at home, Rob? It could be still the same. Mm. Dang, Miss Kitty is just like going at it. She loves rubbing her nose against either my computer or what I set it up on, and like knocks it. Mm. So, I, did not, I was not aware that there was a writer strike during the middle of season one. A Parks and Rec, interesting. Or a husband beater. <laughs> uh, that's right. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it is a woman's cut tank top. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it's a woman's cut, and I really wanted a woman's cut. And it's, I, I looked at it, and it's very flouncy in the bottom. So there's a little more room on the bottom, you know, mm -hmm. to move around, for, especially for, or for or for or for women with larger hips. Sure. Mm. For for women with childbearing hips. Now, but I say down here we call them birthing hips. Birthing hips. That's I it. That's what it. I was looking for. <laughs> that's what I call them. Well, never mind. <laughs> well, you can't can't have none of them Kate Moss types. I don't put out babies. Can't get the damn baby out. <laughs> damn a fucking crack horse. <laughs> Can I? I want to share something that I got from um, in the mail. Certainly. Yeah. You wouldn't mind. Hi, thank you. Hello. Hi. Okay. Um, I got something from shop and I commissioned him. And I still Ooh. have to send him money for it. Because that's how that's how on top of stuff I am. But uh I'm gonna do that today. He's gonna send his shop verse out after you. Or an old dress <laughs> up. I'm gonna come for you. Madam, thanks for the support with the shop verse. Oh wow. Oh, cool. It's stay in. Mm-hmm. No! <laughs> you can't put the thumbs out! Epi, Epi, I love Stan! I love Stan! <laughs> the camera was up there. Undo the even, the evil. <laughs> so, I, asked him to, I asked him to make me um, poison ivy off of David Nakayama's new poison ivy mm -hmm. that he did. So he, he did. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I love it. She's got a flower, a rose, or something that she's. I yeah. see the DNA on the DNA bottom. 13 plus. I love it. <laughs> For 13 and over. <laughs> so the DC, it. yeah, the DC Lego logo. Mm -hmm. Anyway, awesome. thank you so much. I love it. It's <clears throat> going in a place of honor. So, so great, awesome. Shop is awesome. Thank you so much <laughs> for everything you're doing with the community and like, it's so inclusive and fun and such a great community uh, activity really to keep up with and see who's who's next and who you're making a character. It's awesome. Yeah. Indeed. The expanding shop. Oh my God. So what do you guys think about postage stamps? Maybe going up to 73 cents a stamp now. Oh man. That's going to just change the whole game. Revolution. <laughs> <laughs> makes makes that roll that roll of stamps forever stamps I found <laughs> that I don't remember when I bought it years ago all the better it's like oh my god it's the greatest investment I had in my portfolio is a I roll of fucking forever stamps you need to freaking put that in a time capsule I'm telling you it's gonna well, be it's, it's like I, I probably bought them when, like they were like fifty cents or something like that and mm -hmm. I forgot about them and I found this roll. Back in the drawer, and I was like, "Oh, goddamn! Look at this!" And it's like a hundred stamps. So I'm like, "Oh, Jesus Christ! That's like 
the greatest investment in my portfolio. <laughs> now you don't have to worry it's about like all those packages that you have to right. send. You don't have yeah, to worry about all those I don't packages use, you have to send. I don't send. use stamps for that. Like I thought for like actually yesterday I thought, ooh, I'm gonna use one of my stamps because I gotta write a check to the IRS. And then I thought to myself, so why the fuck am I going to send? I'm not going to stick a check in an envelope with just a regular stamp. I want to send it tra- with tracking. And then I thought to myself, why would I want? All I have are legal flat rate envelopes. I'm not paying eight dollars to send them a check, all, even though it's a fraction of what the fucking money I'm spending. And so then I looked it online. I said, oh, well, you know what? I can pay. I can just send. I can wire them the money. So I just wired them the money. I know that they, now I got confirmation. They got my money. They got, and it's all done. I'm all okay. Fuck. You never did it through the website because I've done that through the website. Well, that's what I did. But you see, normally I do. So normally I do my own taxes. Normally, so normally when I run TurboTax, um, mm-hmm. you know, gives you the option to pay right then there. But when I do my taxes back in February, I have mm-hmm. no desire to give the money, the government, the money early. I'm yeah, gonna, I'm gonna collect my interest, especially while interest rates are higher right now. You know, put it and get myself my four or five percent on it instead of letting them have it. They've already borrowed, you know. So mm-hmm. normally I would, in the past, I wrote a check. And only to this year I thought about it and said, I could probably wire them the money. Let me look. And sure enough, I figured you could do it on their website. So I'll just wire the money then because that's freaking better. Yeah. Oh, can I show you guys something? Actually, yes, I will put, make you large here. Oh. Bye bye, madam. <laughs> Hello, Lady F. <laughs> Wow. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, nice black cat. cat fire. I love the boots with <laughs> I always love when they put these these big boots like this with like p- characters in shorts or yeah. something that's like the flat the pirate boots. Yeah, the yeah, pirate <laughs> boots, exactly. Sixty four. That's ooh. Well, like, Bigger I like pirate the boots. That's like the signature look on her. Black cat's judo tricks. Oh, girl, you need to know them. You need judo to know trick. And then the final issue of the run. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. look at those boots. They were heels now. Ooh, Ooh I, lo- I love that one with the cat in the background. It's cool. Yeah. I like, I like yeah. the, the tent. Nice like Harvey. So, yeah, I got this for a deal. A dude sold me all three of these for a hundred bucks. Nice. I know. I was like, yep. Mama wants it. Because if you find them for super nice condition on uh, the internet, they're like a couple hundred each. Yeah, yeah, no, that's awesome. Yeah, it's like, I'll take some mid-grade um, black cats. I really like them. Um, certain jerks in the community have gotten me hooked on older stuff. <laughs> here, here. Older books. It's- the Space Card Comics want to know if I have a spray tan? Yeah, he does. Is that what's going on in the chat? I can't see. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Who's son? Oh, Ernie Colon? Is that who it is on the bottom? Yes. Ernie mm. Chan. Oh, Chan. It's different. Ooh. Ooh. Dynamic that and interesting. A little yeah. dark. Very a little too dark. Too dark for you? Okay. <laughs> too dark all over. Look at the scale of the people at the bottom. Oh, at okay. the size of the crew. Yeah, I saw that one. Nomin would video. love that one. Nomin collects the um, oh. Gulliver's Travel style. like So when there's shrunken people. I don't know why. He gets. He, he likes that. It's a rat. Oh, that's awesome. I like that bog. That thing in yeah. the bog. These are these are all really 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 clean, and that's it's number three. Clean. This isn't an earlier one. Yep. Nice grog. Yeah, these are where monsters dwell. These are just fun. Mm-hmm. Are those where monsters dwell? Old reprints. Yeah, Ooh, I like a gargoyle. Ooh, nice one. They're like old Atlas books. Yeah. But it's cool because it gave a chance for Marvel readers back then to get, you know. These are the old, the OG reprints. These are first. You um, know. They pick up uh, some Tales of Spence. Oh, yeah. Who is that? That's not Black Panther in the. Who's that? Someone knows how to straddle yeah. there. 
the it's uh, the menace of them. So okay. we know later on Marvel has him, but this is them. Well, they look intimidating. So now we just figure out where's us. I don't know. There. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough to find Esteban because I mean the history, but also just like oh, oh, the here. age. Here you go, Lady F. Yeah, this is your Berkeley loot. Yep. This is your Berkeley show loot. Yeah. Have you shown that? Is there a yeah, video? It's a, the, okay. yeah, the video it's dropped yesterday? Okay, yeah. I'll need to check it out because I'm curious. And there was one other TOS book. I won't show all the stuff I had here today. Let me put all these other books that I haven't even shown yet. They're, they're off the side here. There was this TOS book too that I picked up. But, Ooh. Just, look at that giant fucking Nazi robot. <laughs> I know. It's like a Nazi machine. <laughs> it's so awesome. It's weird. I was like, oh, yeah. And it was like $74. I was like, oh, right. Giant freaking robot? $74? That's all me, baby. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> it's all of you. So there you go. If you want to see the rest of the Berkeley loot, you got to check out that video. Yeah, I need to check that out, though. Because there's more. There's one. There's one. There's at least one other big boy book. You well, saw. You showed a fat stack. Book. Oh yeah. Well, because so this was all the stuff I didn't show you. Oh. <laughs> it was a big. It was a. It was a big one. I like it. Ah. Awesome. But yeah, I mean, I, I went in. The problem was I go into that show, and. the one of the guys I'm very one of the vendors I'm pretty con connected with at this point. Mm -hmm. So he he tells me ahead of time. He says he knows I only go on the shows that are on Sunday. And he goes, "Hey, go to my eBay store. Anything that you want me to pull down from there, just tell me, and it's twenty five percent off." Because he does a lot of consignment stuff, but the stuff that's on eBay, a lot of it's stuff that's actually his, so he has more flexibility and stuff on. Plus, then he doesn't have to pay the commissions or whatever else. So, so I'm going through there, and I'm going to pick this. By the time I get there, it's like, you know, I'm, I haven't even gone to the show yet, and I'm $220 in, you know, <laughs> for the show. Um you know, but so as soon as I walked in, he's always got the first booth. He goes, Oh, hey, I got your books. I said, That's great. Hold on to them. I already know what I have there. I already know I owe you money. I'll come. I'm going to go look the rest of the place. Mm -hmm. I'll come hit you up at the end. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, well, I would do it. still by the time I go around to some other guys, it's the next thing you know. It's like I walk out of that place and it's like, All right, I spent my all the all the cash I brought plus more. God damn it. Yep, and I didn't even do like I only spent like three hours there. I didn't do the I didn't dig through anybody's bins really hardly. I mean, there was so much so much stuff that was there. One guy had some badass treasuries that just were in beautiful shape and looked so good. I was really tempted to pick up one or two of them to give away or something. But I have two treasuries. I have a Captain America treasury. It's the bicentennial one. For that Kirby did, and then I have a Hulk with Harpy on the cover. Nice. Yeah. I found this. Um, it's a really awesome Dell like ghost stories. Um, the deadly life. can't be happening to me. Oof. Yeah. No, I found this for four ninety nine, bro. Nice. Yeah. Four ninety nine. Cool. Yeah, four dollars and ninety nine cent. Okay. Right. DJ Link says, "Look at that! I've been a member for thirty months. Take that, Tate Prime, in your fifteen months. <laughs> Got two eggs. <laughs> Oops, this one. If right now I'm just gonna move Mark backstage right now, um, since he's not there, he's doing dad stuff. Well, he has the ability to bring himself back to the forefront. So, yeah, yeah." That's he true. has that technology, the built-in ability. This so the uh, yeah, Mr. DJ Links there, of course, uh, was out at King Con last week, representing uh, representing comics carrying cancer. He wasn't alone. Austin, no. were you there representing comics carrying cancer? Actually, yes. Okay, I was well. helping out because he was showing some stuff. 
that had stuff. No, this story that, was this story was about. this story wasn't about you. So <laughs> not yet. <laughs> so But I was there. I was gonna get to that point. You, were, you left the head in the story. I had a book, it was well written, but you went straight to page twenty. You've ruined the story. Oh, I didn't Thank say you, what sir. page. I didn't say anything about pages. You just skipped ahead in my story. <laughs> you said pages. Well, we're done. It's over. You don't get it now. <laughs> ah, damn go it. ahead. Go ahead, Rob. Go ahead. I'll be quiet. <laughs> I was just, just going to say that my, my normal flow of it was going to be that he was there repping us. The Austin LeMay prints, of course, still available. You can check out djlinks.bigcartel.com. Yeah, just like the one that Izzy has, because Izzy was there. You see how you skipped ahead in my story, Izzy? Mm, mm, mm. Comes with this lovely top loader. Let me even make you big. Bam. And with all proceeds benefiting comics curing cancer. And how much did you raise last year? What was the, what was the grand total? We raised over, we raised, we raised over fifty thousand dollars. That's right. That's crazy. Well, I, I was wondering if you knew the exact total number, though, because I know it was off over. The top, off the top of my head, I don't, but it was it was less than fifty three thousand. Right. Uh, okay. I thought it was about fifty five for some reason. That, it's I, think it, I, think, I think it was like fifty two thousand something. Oh, okay. Wow. The link, DJ Links has put the links. Man, yeah. comic book people can squeeze money out of their pockets. That's amazing. Is that Lemay? It is an Austin LeMay. Name it, Austin. Limited to 50 prints. Why are you so talented, Austin LeMay, you bastard? Dang. That's amazing. He made an amazing one for uh, Nikki Nine and a Half. He had Nikki Nine and a Half, little nub hand, getting bit by the radioactive spider. It was Mm. amazing. Thank you for dropping the link there, Mr. DJ Links. Less than 20 of remaining. I have to put another one. I have to put another thing in the top loader, so but I can't show this one off. Limited availability. Such a tease. Such a tease. Yeah. Um, I found this. <laughs> Tales of Wonder, the Fall of Man. These are stories from the Bible. Like He's it's also falling. It's God's favorite naked. comic magazine. <laughs> it's God's favorite. Do, now, do we do we have that on authority? I mean, like, is it is it like we have a quote, or do we have a clip from that interview with God? Where he yeah, says, oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm pretty sure. Book. Like, it says on the inside in quotes, air quotes, that God is the shit. This God. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. It's insane. <laughs> I don't know, man. I remember the Archie comics. You remember the Archie comics? The Spire comics? Yeah, but do you get this stuff? I sent this picture. It was, I was attacked by a radioactive monster, but even he couldn't keep me from the love of Christ. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. I don't know. It just gets a little weird. Um, Really? A little weird. (laughs) A little weird. You want a little bizarre sex? With Omaha the cat dancer. Oh my god. I, finally, I don't think I've seen such things. With my this eyes. is great. This is great. This is Kitchen Sink. I, yeah. 1981. Oh. I found the first print. I'm a crazy cat lady. This is like pussy square. <laughs> um, Can you open it up? Huh? Can you open it up? I'm not going to do it here, but I can for you later. Okay, later. Um, and I've shown it before. There's just like it's it's cats with human bodies, and oh. um, and this is the actual first number one. So that was the that first happened. appearance in Kitchen Sink Comics in Bizarre Sex. Well, uh, Reed Waller got this story, but then in Steel Dragon Comics was the first that Omaha, the cat dancer, came out in as its own title. Um, but then as later prints, um, they have uh, it comes out on Kitchen Sink. So the first two, the first print and the uh, number one and number two first print come out on Steel Dragon Comics. It's weird, but yeah. It's super fun, super weird and kinky. Um, Number two, this is like a later print of number two. 
but this is the kitchen sink when it came out on kitchen sink um and question then, is kitchen sink still out they're still doing this was in the this was in the, like 86 yeah i, I remember they were in the 80s but they were they were a pretty good indie company and then i want to say that after kitchen sink they switched over to fantagraphics started started um so it's fantagraphics is a uh, the I child would, of kitchen sick. Thing? I don't know that. I can't say that. Uh, I just know that this particular story was published by Kitchen Sink, and then once mm-hmm. Kitchen Sink was out or whatever, the yeah. Fantagraphics were pu- published. Yeah, because Fantagraphics still going on strong now. Yes. yes. Um, kitchen yeah. Sink comics had some good stuff back then. Yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff. Um, I'm. I'm getting more and more taste for the weird and strange. Um, they, they close in 99. Okay. Uh, who? Kitchen sink? Yeah. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. And then, and then they were like Thundra. Remember Thundra? Like, thun- yeah, Thundra. Thundera? But <laughs> no, Thundra. Not, this time I'm actually saying it right. Yeah. <laughs> Have, have you guys heard my idea for a, a great art installation piece that I could sell? Tell us. It just came to me a couple days ago. A lady fantastic knows about it. Right? Probably do. I'll be quiet about it, though. Or do you want me to talk? I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> I, I just had this image in my mind, and I was like, I wonder if anyone has ever made a comic book toilet before. And I was imagining a completely clean new toilet that I could decoupage, like shellac, like different pages of different comics on the whole thing, in and outside. The whole thing is comic shellac, sealed, comic toilet. I have Would seen... Would Nick Cage buy that if it was all Ghost Rider? <laughs> I have seen toilets with comic book themes. Right. That but I as think. I described... No, I've never seen anything like you described. I've seen... I was just recently did go to a restaurant where the entire bathroom was done up similarly, where even the tile was all like superhero tiles and whatnot, but yeah. the toilet was still plain. Wow. So, so listen, all the names that have come out of Kitchen Sink, Robert Crumb, Will Eisner did some stuff there. Neil Gaiman did stuff there. Harry Kurtzman from Mad Magazine, Mad Comics. Oh, what about Alan Moore. The American Splendor? You know, yeah, yeah Rob, Rob, Robert Crump. That's Crump. Uh, um, Dave McKean, James O'Barr, Mark Schultz, Art, Art Spiegelman. That's what I think. Man, this, yeah. is, this is amazing. Art, I thought Harvey Pecker did American Splendor, but See, it, it, it was. You would buy one if, if I would only use certain uh, comics. Chrome may have drawn. I don't know. If you don't only use Cyclops panels and comics, stop, Tate. Tra- you're trying to trigger me. Of course. Um, I was thinking it would be cool if I made one. Like, if there was interest in it, we could auction it off. You know, if someone really, you know, had a, a comic room or a comic man room with a bathroom, like that would be the perfect installation piece. Or just to have it there, just to, as a chair, you know, in your comic room, your man cave. Maybe I have to do a urinal. I think you should do urinal. urinal. That's fun. <laughs> fun comic. Think a urinal and a toilet. Yeah, we'll make a match. Super we'll fun. <laughs> what would be the bidet? Ooh, I've never <laughs> really been in bidets before. I mean, I can't say I've used it. It'd have to be all Hydro Man. <laughs> Aquaman. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, Aquaman, yeah. Hydro Man, Submariner. No, no, no. I think I think it is Hydro Man. I would say it is Hydro Man. <laughs> Hydro Man is the type of person that would do that kind of stuff. He right. would show up in the day. That is a, totally a Hydro Man thing to do. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'll watch it. I just it, haven't gotten a chance. Uh, you know what? Oh, there you go. That's nice. It's like I've read everything in X Men. I probably know what's going to happen. Yeah, my my yeah. wife is in was big in X Men, so she watches the X Men oh, show with it. me. I watch it mostly because I know everybody else wants to talk about it. X Men ninety seven or the original cartoon wasn't a show I watched really. I mean, I other it. bits and pieces because I was an adult and wasn't what I was. I wasn't what I was into. I was never an X Men yeah, person fair. either. 
So I didn't care. Um, you were great very, when I'm watching these, like, okay, I, I have a general gist of what the stories they're pulling from only because I had to rebag and board all my wife's X-Men comics. Your wife's the one that has <laughs> good you faith. That without, any, without any spite, I noticed, Rob. Yeah, Mr. I'll Mr. Mr. Oh. Try to find that book. I'm sorry, we need to that, give that Adam? to <laughs> What was that about spice? What? I said you, you rebagged and boarded all your wife's comics and you said that without any spite. Yeah, well, I mean, some of them weren't bagged and boarded at all. I had to save them from herself but <laughs> in her defense it was also her teenage self that they were <laughs> they've been moved around in boxes for years and from one house to the next and i kept saying like oh one of these days i should bag and board those for you look the truth so that's your own fault you there are. you go there's the truth oh that's awesome i love that's that like image. that's like what issue 38 30 20 22 22 oh okay i'm <laughs> off I knew it was one of those early episode issues, but yeah. there's several different ones where they have like Earth being like, oh yeah, yeah. That's a that's just. That's... There's that, there's several. Never if, seen one of those. Oh no, there's several with Superman getting spanked by Pa Kent. Uh, ouch, my hand. I feel like there's some fetish that should be fulfilled with that image or something. How about oh, some yeah. strange adventures with some snow? Oh yeah, yeah. That's a that's a cla that's an expensive book actually. Yeah, that, it really is. I've because I've seen that one several times. I've 79. never seen a copy that's together yeah. <laughs> in one piece in halfway decent <laughs> condition for less than a hundred bucks. That's because the snowman destroyed them. Oh, with laser <laughs> eyes, man. That's badass. That's a badass book right there. Leave it to Binky. <laughs> yeah. The romance book. I love this book. Yeah, it's cool, cool. Cool. Oh, here's the one that you like. Tales of the Unexpected. Tales of the Unexpected. Oh, well, yeah. Although it's just referred to as unexpected, usually. Yeah. That's that. That's that series that had um, the first hundred <laughs> issues are sci-fi, and then it switches to horror in the Rob second hundred. Rob always refers issues. to Tales Expected. For and uh, Space Ranger takes over that book for quite some time. Yeah, yeah. that's a classic. Strange Adventures. Yeah. Yeah. And this this is, goes out a gamut of, of books. So. Oh, cool. Good chef there, man. Yeah. Look mm -hmm. at Mark. Mark's back. Joins us again. Welcome back, Mark. Back street. Back. What up, Mark? How are you? Hi, tired. I'm so tired. Yeah, Mark. me too. I'm so tired today too. Tired day. Is Mark the Lance Bass of this group? Yes. Am I gay? I would just say you have, Do you to, have to be. Do you have to be? Yeah, exactly. Doesn't group, matter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, think I think there's a couple would. of them that are. I'm like, I don't know. I I did get them mixed together. What are what are uh what are your streets are typing qualities of Lance Bass that you're referring to? Uh, you're the blonde headed guy. So you could so, be Aaron Carter if you wanted so to be. You but know who did this cover, right? Dead. No, uh, Nick Carter. Which one? The no, the one that's not dead. Not the little annoying brother, but the, you're terrible at comparisons, Lady Fantastic. I'm glad think, that you're. I think I'm all glad the that they're people. resonating with you. I'm just <laughs> wondering, all like now that you're like slamming him with something, I'm wondering, like if like the rest of us are gonna get like also. No, no, no. Who, who are y'all now? Uh, I want. Okay, look. Uh, fucking Izzy's Fatone. All right. Um, How'd you look out with the table? Patone? You're Fatone. Oh, oh, I heard Patone. I'm like, who's Patone? No, you're, you're Joey Fatone. Is, is he lucked out in this scenario? Okay, no. I'm okay with that. I, I can deal with that. No, because Fatone's just like, oh, be quiet, Fatone. He's the shit. Um, he's the cool one. Out of the group. Then, he's the one that has long Yeah, I was going to say, he's the one that actually is getting jobs. <laughs> yeah, he's he's awesome. <laughs> so I'm okay with that. Thank you. You're the uh, Rob Fat Sacks is like the Kevin one. Um, which nothing happened to him. He's fine. Just, he's, he's, he's quiet in there. He's normal. Um, he had a goatee also. I don't know <laughs> what, what band is this? And then in 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 sync or Backstreet Boys. We should we should blend the two. Let's blend there, the no, there was, there was, all Backstreet Boys right now. The there, was Backstreet short -lived, there was a short lived MTV show. I think it was where it was like a makeshift um, Backstreet Boys kind of dude that they had like a. An older brother figure, but it was actually an older man. That should be rough. 
look, trust me, being gay has nothing to do with liking those. There's most, it's mostly women in their like early 40s that love well, those bands. Kyle, it's quite easy. All you have to do is not leave your house. And that's yeah, I just, own. that's where I just went. I just went and got <laughs> dressed for work. I get to go in late today. And then there's 98 degrees, but the only one I can remember is the one that married. Uh, it was Nick Lachey. That's the only Nick one Lachey. I can remember. Right. Don't forget, yeah. don't forget the only one me bad. Out of there. I think he's the only one that oh, matters. Yeah. yeah. If you and are, and if you they're, all they're had, one hit wonder. Had a movie, I'm sorry. They had like two hits or something like that. They had a few hits. I don't, if I don't you know all who had they are. A movie but... based on yourself, who would you want to play you? What actor would you want to play you? If you could uh, choose any actor. Tom Cruise. On. He's Joe pretty Pesci. short, Izzy. How tall are you? I'm about the same height. You look tall. I'm not tall. I'm five eight. Tom Cruise is fat, but about that height, he's not that tall. You're tall for a little person, Izzy. LP. I'm, I, I would consider five myself eight, five eight. Still tall, don't worry. No, Tom Cruise five is five is, seven. Yeah. So, and then he wears he wears heels most of the time. So, lips. That's out of dominance, not pleasure. How about you, Mark? Huh? How about you? How about me? What? How tall Who am plays I? You? Who plays oh, you? No, not how tall. <laughs> uh, I don't, I'm sorry. I'm tired. I'm That's out. okay. If you if you say they were gonna make a, a movie about your life, who? What actor would you want to play you? I would want Izzy doing his best Joey Fatone to try to play me. I want there to be levels to it. That might be give, a me time, give me time, and I could do that. Actually, <laughs> uh, Rob. I, Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott is a great oh, one. I what totally what a stash. Especially because he's what still a great alive. Stash to, you know, as a. Give me meat and whiskey. What about you, madam? I don't know. I would want someone really f- with some really good acting chops. You know. I was I was thinking for me, Joe Pesci. Oh, stop! <laughs> yeah, he would nail it. Mm-hmm. He has my mouth. <laughs> you were just walking. See, 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 I, I don't. That's the first I thing I play, thought of. Just, just. I will play Tom Cruise. Out. And my, let me see. I will play Tom Cruise, and then I will have my wife be Natalie Portman. Oh, I bet you would. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I'm just saying that because that's. And then you'd be like, "We need to reshoot that, this scene." I will Natalie also. Portman. I will also accept because Sam Elliott is significantly older than me. I will also accept um, Ron Offerman or Nick Offerman. Mm. I can see that. Who is he no, from? I can see that. Parks and, Rec- Parks and Recreation. Rock? Maybe like Parks a spicy, a spicy Jillian Anderson. But like, let's be. Ooh, real. I could see that for you. Um, I still think Joe Pesci is more of a better cast for me. I feel like you need someone sassier though. Than Joe Pesci, who gets sassier than Joe Pesci? I mean, the oh sass God, is you. strong with you. Lucille Ball. Lucille Ball, yeah. For for Izzy, can we get Andrew Dice Clay? Yes. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) Look at his face. He's like, (laughs) I I would have taken, what, this guy? What's it, Kevin James or something? I would take Kevin Kevin James. James. Did you know Kevin James did a stand-up and I watched it and it wasn't funny at all? And it was so disappointing because he's so hilarious on King of Queens and all stuff. I think I've seen all his stand-ups that are weren't funny at all. You know what the difference is? King of Queens, somebody else writes it. True. That's a very good point, Rob. Very I, good I, point. <laughs> Touche. Yeah. You're kind of, okay, Mark, you've sort of, maybe if you were a little less serious, you <laughs> A little, a little less. A little less serious. You kind of have a Jimmy Kimmel kind of thing. That's an insult. <laughs> I think that dude's having the time of his life. Can I? Can I have Owen Wilson play Mark? Owen Wilson. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Have I no, shown? No, I can't see it. Play Mark. That was a but great then he, then he, it, Owen Wilson doesn't really act though. No, Owen Mark, Wilson did you see that thing Owen that I Wilson. sent you where it was Owen Wilson and Trump acting as the members of Dune? Shy Lou? Like, what? <laughs> I don't think that yes. is. Pesky Paul, I call him, in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's hilarious. Wow. Did I send you that? 
episode. I don't remember if you did. I don't. It's like it's a skit, really and it's like one guy. One's playing like Owen Wilson as Paul Atreides, and the other one's. Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I do remember that. Wow, <laughs> that's so funny. Cool. Owen Wilson's hilarious. He was great in Wedding Crashers with Vince Vaughn. Tate, Tate's and, suggesting that Mark is Zac Efron before the bulk up. Oh, that's Ooh. yeah. Ooh, I could see Mark play. Mark. No, no. Actually, I could see Mark play Mark Paul Glosser from Zach from Saved by the Bell. That I could see. <laughs> T Dub's in the house. Hello. Oh, dear. I'm trying to think of who Mark has but Mark, has anyone ever told you you look like a celebrity or anything? Mm-hmm. What he does. One? It's just like, uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't fall asleep. Just tell us which one. Just tell us which one. <laughs> the okay. silence. Okay. Mark? Me? Me? Yeah. Has anyone ever told you you look like a celebrity? Yeah. Which I, one? Get the, I get the Bradley Cooper thing every now and then. Oh yeah, that I was almost trying to like like figure out who you are, like like in terms of celebrity likeness. Bradley Cooper's yeah, good. That's the I get that every now and then. Nick's kicks and comics says it often dipping around. Hmm. That's nice. Obviously. I love Sam Elliott. I love Sam Elliott in the the movie The Mask. Mask. Yeah. With Eric, Eric Schultz. Eric Schultz. Oh, Rocky Dennis. Yeah. And Cher. Yeah. Great, great movie. Hot. Oh, I understand. I, I, I understand color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No one knows what I'm talking about, apparently. I do. I, do. I don't know. It all of a sudden sounds like Mickey Mouse. Laura Dern was in it. She was blind. I remember the I remember the movie. And you just John the mask driving colors to her with Eric temperature. <laughs> Did y'all remember when Eric Stoltz had that huge messed up face? Right. And Laura Dern was her boyfriend. Her girlfriend. That's what we're talking about, right? The That's mask, what you were walking. The mask. Oh. Mask. Yeah, the mask. mask talking about not, 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 not the mask. That's a Jim Carrey movie. Mask. Yeah. I was <laughs> looking at yes. a, yeah. I was looking at a five five green llama number six. I couldn't focus. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. Yeah. Care. But Sam uh, Elliott has the he's gotta have the uh I wanna say of all the voices, the sexiest voice for a man of an older age. An overage man? Of an older aged man. Sam Elliott, there's he's smooth. I'm sure he can talk quite a many women into his bed. <laughs> I, I sure he, I'm sure he has. <laughs> Without trying. Yeah. <laughs> Slot on in there. He, man. he just oh, he yeah. just does the half smile, you know. He, he'll just have to <laughs> take it like over there. And they were like, yes, sir. <laughs> I'm there. Beef. That's for dinner. Yeah, that's how I got you, right, Izzy? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's exactly so how it happened. He pointed to the bed and you said, yes, okay. <laughs> Get on <laughs> now. Silence. <laughs> you know, I, I also like the James Earl Jones voice. Um, oh, yes. Really commanding. Vader or Mustafa? Mustafa. <laughs> Mustafa. Oh, he'll always be the king Mustafa. I don't want Vader. I don't want Vader daddy in bed. <laughs> Stop breathing so hard. <laughs> You're ruining you it. What are you breathing? <laughs> That's what to say. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He was rocking a CPAP before they were popular in his mask. So. I did. <laughs> Yeah, you know, they don't have asthma pumps in the galaxy far, far away because that's all they needed. CPAP sex. <laughs> you know, CPAP sex. Need <laughs> that's got to be so hot. <laughs> that's all he needed. Humans <laughs> are awesome, aren't they? I right? absolutely love. How, how many people? How many people? It seems to me like everyone uses CPAPs for some reason. Like everyone I know. Because we're fat. Practically. <laughs> 
I don't have a CPAP. A CPAP. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like everyone I know I has one. It's like, when did everyone start like almost dying right. in their sleep and like thank God we have a CPAP now? Uh, I know? don't have it. When we all got yeah. super fat. Well, I don't remember there and being like an epidemic of under my own weight, sleep, my... <laughs> dying in their sleep. You know, like, I, I don't remember seeing that on the news growing up. Like, you know, I mean, well, you like, see a lot of things going. growing up on the news that now. Well, I'm just saying, like, nobody told place. me like, "Hey, make sure you don't cross this weight limit, or you'll you'll you know, SIDS comes back." You know. It's, it's like, I mean, back, back when I was growing up, Mark, when I was growing up, you could take a peanut butter and jelly sandwich to school without everybody going, "What the fuck, man? You're trying to kill everybody." Oh yeah, allergies. <laughs> Today, the most should have like dangerous a, a food boy in the bubble is a table. peanut butter and strawberry jam sandwich on white bread. Yeah, they should have hey, a boy in the bubble sandwich table. You know, like one of those tape like bubbles in just- if you if you have allergies, go go in, go to your table. Get in the bubble. Get in, Get the, in the bubble. The bubble. <laughs> yeah, but then you get contaminated. Somehow I you're have to worry about, about my kid can't have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because your kid's allergic. That's right. I get allergies. I think uh, they should be careful with those allergies. Yeah. Now I want peanut butter. What do you sandwich. want, Mark? You had but, a breakfast sandwich earlier. What'd you get? That was a cookie. Oh, it looked like a sandwich, didn't it? It's a cookie uh-huh. and it had cream in the middle and sprinkles. They're monkey's favorite cookies, but they're well, not here to sleep. Happy breakfast to you. Yeah, that's right. Oreo cookie, an immunocompromised yeah. table. And then <laughs> All I'll, you uh, freaks with no fucking immune system, go sit over there. <laughs> in there, not just <laughs> over, over and in. Get in the fucking yeah, incubator. Get in the bubble. Put your CPAP on. And eat your jelly sandwich. Fuck you and your no white you have an ass. Kids. <laughs> Bunch of pussies. Uh, and, and you guys love the X Men. <laughs> now, hey, you know, see Pat. Beauties, freaks. Thing, you get overweight. Welcome to the world. My Another my uh, cousin's it husband. Exacerbates it, but... My cousin's husband was he's um he wasn't like fat. He was like a tall, like a bigger. It's guy. not the only thing, but obesity. Really is 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 a tri- is a uh, common trigger to it. Yeah. He stopped sli- he stopped breathing in his sleep. Like yeah, that's what bad. I when they did when I did my sleep study, um, they t- they test they they came back and they're like, oh yeah, no no, you need this right now because like the no the amount of time I wasn't breathing exceeded the amount of time I was breathing in my sleep. And yeah, it's like you need brain hell, damage. Rob. Wow, it's like you're not aware of it though. Yeah. But you're, like your you're, brain is half dead. But it's but it, well, it's a big difference when you when you sleep. Yeah, how much more? <laughs> how good the sleep is now? It's like because you're breathing while you're sleeping. You're not like trying fighting to stay alive during your, while you're asleep and stuff. You know, better, and stuff. So, sure, yeah. so sometimes like I I like even like I go back if I'm in a recliner. It's I'll I can fall asleep. It's okay because I'm reclined. But like if I go back, but a lot of times like if I go take a nap, if I go lay down on the bed. I'll pull the CPAP out anyway, so do it because all of a sudden, because it's just I, it's much easier now. Much feels much better. I, it doesn't bug me. Just, I know some it's people your who safety are safety blanket now. Yeah, I know some people are annoyed by CPAPs, you know, and, and have struggles. I'm fortunate that I don't struggle with the with the issues with the mask or anything else. I don't have I don't have lines all over my face from fricking the mask or other oddballs. I see one right there. And uh, it's all perfectly <laughs> fine. Well, you, Mark, you're always talking about how much I have to, I moisturize and shit. Yeah. You do have nice skin. I'd love to wear it. So, <laughs> Rob, how tall are you? 5'10. 5'10. In the morning. Right. Stretched out fully. fully yeah. After after I've bed. laid out, my butt, my bus, muscles are completely decompressed. Yeah. In the <laughs> evening, probably five nine. <laughs> as as my uh, my body's frame pulls down on, and gravity has its effect. Right. Yeah. Totally. Um, Tate, no, you don't have to. So, like, I do about probably seventy percent of the time. But Rob hangs can, the other thirty. The other thirty percent, I I was I sleep on my side. He just hangs. He hangs. That's awesome, Mark. Oh, just has yeah. a just that that arm. Cool, is man, just I, 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 if I, if I, the arm if is just I hung upside down, man. I could probably wake up five eleven. Uh huh. That's the goal. 
I was Lady tired Fantastic, today. I think... Did you have did you have like a whole emotional experience watching the cartoon this week? Nope. Because I didn't watch it. Okay. I gotta watch it uh like today or something. I need I haven't watched issue four or five. They so took I, a, I, I skipped I skipped uh four last week. That's yeah, like so I'm, awesome, I'm pretty much dude. pretty no it wasn't. And uh I'm to pretty much on, I mean to you is one thing, but I'm pretty much on this format where if I see the rave reviews for it, I go watch it. And I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, four was not awesome. Four was a mixed and it was like eh, eh, it was a two back. it was a it was a two episode mojo actually. world thing and uh, oh yeah, yeah I got into that and I just I got to the part to where she and Sunspot got sucked into the video game and then I was like okay I can't watch this anymore. yeah I'm not saying I'm not saying it's bad don't get me wrong but it wasn't like and just like the original series if you go back to that not There's every episode not every There's episode's amazing either I just I don't I don't no, care I, to watch I, I admit it. I admit that it was a filler. Yeah, um, so I need to watch episode four, like the rest of it, and then five. I wasn't disappointed. I liked it because it also was a throwback to the 80s, the yeah, 80s I'm, and I'm 90s not, video just, games. It was cool seeing doing. Spiral. I mean, you know, when but, you uh, see Spiral. I, uh, I watched man. episode five, and they jammed a couple different stories together and made a really they good episode. Episodes, but Tate, Tate, did they really waste Mojo? Did they? Mojo's not one of those kinds of villains. <laughs> Well, there's just a chihuahua in my front yard. Kill it. Oh, you're getting a little get, the sh- light. get the shotgun. Hurry up. We got we got dinner. No, that's Hazel. That's the neighbor's dog. She's a sweetheart. Fucking Hazel. Fucking Hazel. My mom has two chihuahuas, and they when they when I come over, all, hey, all you see them do is go. What's hey. your name? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What I didn't like about the last episode four was that they took the storm and forge story, and apparently it's gonna, they're gonna come back to it. But it was like, it was like, okay, we're gonna give you just a little bit of this story, and then we're gonna do another story later. For it. Like, yeah, I saw oh, that. Just put yeah, the story on one. At a so bar. far, the only ones that's really got like the internet rolling oh, was one, two, and five. No, this week is crazy. Yeah, this week was five, right? I haven't yeah. seen it. Yeah, this week. Yeah, was one, nuts. two, and five got the internet fired up. One and two obviously came out at the same time, but they're yeah, yeah, yeah. And, Everybody and this, and their this week, without giving it. It, without giving anything away, it's it, it, it starts he, it starts in one spot, and you're like, oh, okay, you know, it's just a lot of them talking. Wait, then, like and I then, don't, and then in the in the end, it's like, what just happened? y'all didn't all see that coming from the moment the episode started, like one hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent knew how this episode was ending. Like one video game percent in the first five minutes. You yeah. like it's been like with you being an X Men person. If you don't, the Mojo if you one? Watch, is that what you're no, the new no, one, no. the new one. This episode. If you, this episode, if you watch episode. five minutes into it and don't know exactly how oh. it ends, are you, are you really an X Men person? Because I, I even but, knew but this was the first time. It was so good, though. I need to watch first, five. It was, was the first it. time that they blended stories, though. No, it's so, not. No, it's no, not. No, no, no. No, when, it's when not I mean, at all. When, issue I was one. Wait. They blended like they were, three issues. Four yeah. issues. Well, no, yeah. they issue. They issue. They issue E for Extinction. They e, they issue Mutant Massacre. They they did a few it, things. I know they're. There's like four of them they did. Because they did issue 200, Trial of Magneto, 201, Baby Cable, like the. No, I'm talking about this one episode. No, I'm talking about issue one. Episode one. Episode one was here. But I'm saying they took, and they took from Grant Morrison's run. Oh. Which I think this is the first time they did it. But but then again, when it came out, it was all Claremont. Yes. For the most part. So. Ladies and gentlemen, pay attention. Straighten up. Pops is in the house. The pops. 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 Yeah. Yeah. The whole damn show is blending stories from different companies. Something I've been working on too. How do you guys like the way they did Nightcrawler though? How he looks? I really liked it. Uh, Looked like Nightcrawler. Yeah. What they do different? I don't know. He had more of a joyfulness about him. Oh, he was happy. Yeah, he's, well, because he was because only well, all we he, met him he where everybody all the mutants on that island are happy because they're all in their uh, own space together. I mean that's the whole <laughs> in that episode. Every, every, there's yeah. no nobody's sad. It's all oh look how but happy was, we are. 
But every episode yes, we does. need ten dollars for an apple. Roll. We're happy anyways. I have no dollars for an apple. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> that doesn't work for me, T Dubs. I'm sorry, man. Because you're because you're not a. Yeah, I, I talked about person. that. I talked about that uh, after the the premiere week. How it's cool having the voice talent back, but you can you can hear the uh, you can hear the thirty year gap in Rogue's voice. Mm-hmm. Like it's the same actress, but it definitely doesn't sound the same. She doesn't sound like a twenty something year old woman anymore. Nope. No, she sounds like she's twenty nine for the third time. For the third for the time. third time or the tenth time. I give her third. <laughs> Can I show you guys something I've been working on? I don't know. Can you? I really want to show it off. Um, do you guys know who Klumpt is? Gustav Klumpt? Oh, of course. Who doesn't? Are you being facetious or not? That was being sarcastic. Okay. Yeah, Gustav Klumpt. He's an artist. He did stuff like this. Oh, wow. Art Nouveau stuff. Is that made uh, out of tile? No, this is a painting with like gold leaf on it. And he would do portraits of people, and then he would do like little abstract kind of like gold designs in it. But he was just a master at it, right? So I was inspired by this picture, and I decided, you know how they had the um, the Van Gogh immersive experience? Yeah, yeah, yes. Right? Asian I decided I was going to do the same thing except with clumps in my bathroom. <laughs> Just Show covered them. everything in gold leaf. <laughs> gold leaf turd. Her so bathroom's badass. This is my clump experience bathroom. I feel like I should be tracking people. It's a slight amount of money. Giving them a roll of toilet paper and then letting them in the bathroom. <laughs> experience clump. <laughs> <cleaning, laughs> this is the first time on YouTube where we're taking a tour of someone's bathroom, I think. Okay, oh, yeah. no, I, I swear to God, you have got to check this out. Here we go. This is just coming into the bathroom. Okay. If you've never experienced going into a bathroom, this is your first opportunity. Ooh, it's a nice bathroom. I like that. I like the light fixtures. So the next, the next level of this is like Trump bathroom, man. Gold fixtures. Look at that. Thing. Like it's is that a cribs. duck head? It's cribs with Madame. Swan, bitch, has some glass. <laughs> Jeez. Look at that. Oh, nice oh, blue. Really cool. Check out the mirrors. Oh, wow. In case you miss a spot, you got plenty of mirrors to see. Could you not pinch a loaf and have a good time in there? I would have a great time taking a duke. I got this thing at Goodwill. Is, is, there, nice. is there a place to charge your phone while taking a deuce? God damn it, no. But I was thinking it would be cool. <laughs> Run a gold extension cord. <laughs> Maybe a small TV in the shower. I don't know. Uh, just oh, as yeah. long as it's not a toaster, you should be fine. <laughs> anyway, that was my little art installation. Like my, it was kind of like a little passionate project of mine, and it was fun to like redo like nice. room totally from scratch on your own. Biggie Shack knows. He said someone worked hard on that bathroom. Yeah, Thank you. Thank that's you. way too. It's way too fancy for me. <laughs> I want it to be. It's the guest. It's the guest bathroom. So I want it to be an, a nice experience for the guests. You know. My guest bathroom has uh, posters, propaganda posters, Star Wars propaganda posters hanging in it. Oh, I thought it was good. your picture. Uh, your picture that um that Madam did. It's all no, that no, bathroom. no. That That'd art's all over here. No, in the bathroom, it's like Star Wars, World War II type propaganda posters and ner- nerdy shit. Because <laughs> it was also my kid's bathroom, but now they're gone. It stays clean better. It doesn't, clean smell, better. As, doesn't smell as weird. Anyways, uh, what we got here? We had um, uh, they're ending. Okay, X Men pass. Pop says he's passing through because Hotel Pops is full. Their teeth bother Canadian survivalist in the X Men show. Their teeth bother me. Yeah, they're, really? they're, they're, they're... <laughs> I'm sorry. Teeth? I, 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 teeth bothers you? No, no, I understand what you're saying. They, they, mm-hmm. uh, there's, they're all like a hundred percent, like perfect, straight. And it's so just not, one teeth. I mean, it's like it's just like a straight line, flat teeth. Mm-hmm. You know, there's no. It's just a little weird. It's okay. I mean, yeah, yeah it happens. 
know. Buddy the actual, gets the actual X-Men. Uh, I just was born with vanity, so. The yeah. actual yeah. X-Men, they you have great teeth. These, these, these are the really um, right. important in your identity. They, like, they really matter, like your teeth shape and stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah. Not in your identity, but in your appearance. Like, but your seat shape? Your toilet seat shape? No. Teeth. Not... Oh, fuck. Teeth. Your teeth. Your teeth. I hide my teeth behind mustache. Teeth. The teeth. See, I feel je- uh, See, lady, madam, you're trying to make me jealous, but you can't. Because I'll sit here and I can sit here and do this too, okay? So we can. Well, well, well Rob, you know this isn't my hair. Like, come on. Like, we're on the same playing field. <laughs> I like them kill Bill, the um, pie maid that she goes to train with. He does his thing. He throws it. <laughs> now we shall battle. I know. I love Pai Mei. He was cool. Tate wants to battle. Says, hey, that's a nice second gambit slab. Mm-hmm. It is. Yes. First, I got, first, I got parents, the, first cover I got parents the, of gambit. I got the first appearance of him down here, too, but everyone's sharing second appearances. Well, they're sharing the first, first cover appearance. I think is what they're caring about. Oh, yeah, yes. they're first cover. So, yeah. so yeah, it's the first cover appearance that that mm-hmm. we're sharing. But I do have the I have the first appearance here. I have one in my giveaway bin. Yeah, I, I, I've given like four of those away now. There's one for thirty bucks at my LCS, and it seems like in nice shape. Which I think twenty nine ninety nine is not bad for that book right now. You know, pick it up for less than that. I think that book's gonna go up a little bit. You think it's, this you episode. think it's gonna. You think it's, you're not find- expe- it's not an expensive book. You should be able to find it raw in anywhere from a six to an eight for like 15 to 20 bucks max. Mm-hmm. I want a nice copy. I have a nice copy. You want a near mint copy? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why I paid like 35 30. for mine. That's fair. I want because it's a. Oh, it's is a- it Zena? I loved watching Xena back in the day. Oh my Zena. god, I was a religious Xena watcher. Xena's awesome. It's a square bounds, and I like my square bounds to be wrapped nicely. Oh my goodness. Did anybody else watch Xena? <laughs> Docs of the Mighty? No. It was a fun show. Lucy Lawless. And yeah. there was Kevin Sorbo with the Hercules. She was all she was the lesbian uh idol for her. Yeah, I think she time. was for, for a few. At least I learned that. I didn't realize that until a little a few years later. She was a lesbian, like wet dream I, icon. Icon, because in 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 Zena, her girlfriend who she hangs around with, they're always yeah. like in the bath together, you know, or like Ooh. about to do something, you know. It's like Ooh. always like always like tongue tongue and cheek really close to being like hmm. because like we're men, we're warriors but we're show. lovers too. Yeah, because men wrote the show and couldn't help themselves. Yeah, but I mean like if men knew anything about the past, that's like what Hercules did in the fucking Iliad is he fucked his boy. But they all fucked back then. Like what was his know. name? Did you say better... Hercules in the Iliad? Yeah. Is it fucking his boy? Yeah, his uh partner. I can't his um his closest battle mate, and I can't remember his name. I don't remember but, Hercules being in the Iliad. Um The uh the Spartans did the same. The Spartans all like, yeah, they were gay. They were they encouraged Because uh, uh, Hurt the Iliad they encouraged is about it, because they, they thought that the people would fight better Obviously. if they love the person yeah, next it's, to them. Okay. Heracles um is her Heracles is Hercules the same as Heracles? Yes. Okay, I could be wrong. Yes. Or maybe because, it's, not, it's been a long time since I read the, it. So the Odyssey I may not just, be remembering. Heracles is in the Iliad Iliad and Odyssey. Okay. Um I'm trying to think when Hercules is in the Odyssey. Yes, he's Heracles, he's the same guy, and he's a warrior. For um, not the Trojans, but the Greeks. He's a warrior for them, and for like, Agamemnon, or... yeah, and um, oh, fucking, he's one of the greatest warriors. But he's his ankle is his his weakness. That's is Achilles. His ankle. That's it's Achilles. 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 Is that Achilles? Yeah, yeah. that's what's called. That's why Achilles tendon. Achilles yeah. Got it. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, is Achilles Hercules? A- Achilles yeah, no, was Perseus. Achilles is not Perseus Hercules. That's totally Perseus. different heroes. That's right. Achilles was Achilles' Perseus mother dipped him Hercules in the river. Achilles was the yeah. Roman comp a uh, counterpart right. of Heracles. Got it. Yeah. And then right. so but Achilles was was just no, I know Achilles was different. Yes. Immor- Achilles was Perseus, definitely but... in the Iliad, one hundred. Whereas yeah. Hercules was a no, demigod. Yeah. yeah, Hercules yeah, was um, Hercules a human, and Zeus, Zeus and right. a woman. Zeus's child right. of the human, yeah, because yeah. Zeus came to a woman in the shape of a bull, and was she couldn't help herself. I thought it was and... a swan. I think I think my favorite part that Zeus comes down is like a golden shower on Danae. You know, hey! and, like, introduces her as like a golden shower, which is so, so that's bad that's Madam's right theme now, for the day is golden <laughs> showers. Got it. Into the woman cave. <laughs> yeah, he's just worshipped. I'm I'm incorrect. So Heracles is just worshipped and like the model god warrior, but Achilles, it's Achilles that has a little boy toy. I, sure, I read this not. shit in college. Yeah, Achilles has a boy toy. Ago, but huh? No one has I no none of us are expected to remember every bit of it. It is a little wordy. Patroclus. So. Patroclus was his lover. Anyway. Chocolate? I'm gonna type it in Patroclus. The things, uh, things that happen in the trenches Patroclus. stay in the trenches. So, so Mark, here you go. So, so there it is. So, first appearance of Gambit. This is the true first appearance of Gambit. We we right all there. know that, Izzy. Thank you. Oh yeah, it's also it's also <laughs> double. This one, but this one's double signed. Double signed, baby. Look at that. Those signatures. Who signed it? Chris Art. Claremont and Art. Adam. Chris Claremont. I was thinking about I, I wrote uh, DC to see if I could start making like some statues. Maybe I could do a poison ivy statue and everything, you know. And um, and then it came to me like some people were suggesting that instead of DC or anything that has copyrights, I could go ahead and do like an Aphrodite or a, a goddess, you know, a Roman or mythological goddess, um, which is good, I, which is a good idea, but I was just trying to think of, like, who the most popular or sought after, like, female Greek god, goddess, or Roman god there would be, you know? Uh, you know? Di- Diane, the goddess of hunting. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. And then you've got um, Artemis. Yeah. Artemis, and then, yeah. And then you've got, um, I, you know, Hera, yeah. she's yeah. the head bitch. Does Hera have the owl? Who is the owl? That's Athena. 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 He's of knowledge and war. Um, Ar- Artemis, Hera. Art- so Athena is the goddess of strategy, strategy as opposed to war. What is it? Suri? Suri? Or Suri? Well, Cersei. Ares is the male. Cersei, of Cersei. War. yes, Cersei. He's, yeah, Ares is the god of war, whereas Athena is the god. She's strategy, wisdom and strategy yeah. and such. So while well, she goes Justice. hand in hand. Well, she goes hand in hand with war. She's not war specific, but Calypso. Yeah, she has less uh, testosterone, so she's, she's more about state-sanctioned uh, violence, which is like she's at, a, which is just. She's all about thinking it through before I actually do something, as opposed to just running headstrong into the wall, massive yeah, hordes. Of- in the Oristia, um, in the Oristia, it's all about how is Athens become like a functional city-state with justice, and Athena has to to uh, to. Stop the fight between Orestes and the Eumenides, which are the fr- the Furies, and they're like, we just want to fucking kill him because he killed his daddy, um, and that's the rules. And then Athena comes in and says, no, every case must have considerations. And so, what were the circumstances of this case? Oh, he got fucked over. His daddy should have died. So no, it's cool. And so that's like, yeah, she's a god of wisdom, and she basically helped impose like systems of justice, at least yeah. in their fucking plays. Yeah. And stories and all that shit. God, what was that? I want to say Clash of Titans, but I don't think it was Clash of Titans nice. when when they had the the guy with the 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 pearl ring and God. I don't rely on was that Clash of Titans, Titans with Harry Hamlin and the metal yeah, owl. Yeah, Harry Hamlin was in it and the, Medusa, the mechanical owl, Medusa. Yeah, that's, that's Clash of the Titans. With the eye. Yeah, that's Clash of the Titans. Yeah, but then was there also the... They remade it in years I don't rely on it. They remade Clash of the Titans? Yeah, and then they had a seat with Sam Worthington. Is it good? 
it's fun. It's fun as hell. Yeah. yeah. The first was so perfect. Yeah. With Lawrence Olivier. Wasn't he Zeus in it? <laughs> opening up. Sure. Going across the river Styx, and he's opening up his hand, and you put in the two coins. And... Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, fucking we Harry Hamlin. Look. I've seen I've seen him. He's like seventy now. He's age well. Mm. There's a lot to be said for good bone structure, I guess. That and money. Amazing. He did have strong cheeks though back mm. in the day. Even <laughs> strong jaw. There's the original movie poster. Let's see. Cool. Can I see? Can you make yourself big, Mark? Do so. Yeah. This is the uh, digi book that they did for it. These nice. digi books are awesome. So you get like the uh, movie, but it also comes with like a cool book aspect to it. There's your dude. Yeah, that's the dude. Yeah, this boy. This boy. Wow. <laughs> Life is all about the boys of Calibus. I'm sorry, the man. Yes, that's the the freaky guy with the ring who who like the, captures gets the his woman. Hand cut off. I love this owl. Owl. No. hero well, of the movie. Does he have a name? Does it tell you what the name of the owl is? Boobo. Boobo. Boobo? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's Lawrence Olivier. Yes. Oh, Regal. The Liam Neesons played him in the remake. That's a good one. That's a good cast, I'd say. Liam Neeson's got a good Zeus feel. Yeah, they have like uh, Jim Agerton, Liam Neeson's... Oh, God, what's his name? Jason something played Calibus. He played uh, Dr. Jekyll in League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Hmm. Oh, wow. I remember that movie. Who would make the best Zeus right now as an actor, do you think? Probably Rob. <laughs> Um, I'll tell you how I think. Oh. I think Anthony Hopkins would do. That. I, yeah, that's just I, what I was gonna say. Yeah, but that's the, that's that's kind of like the cliche answer, right? That's yeah. like, Is it? That's I, like buddy, I like He's, when they have Luke. What was it, Luke Evans? Theater. When Luke Evans portrayed, I think it's Luke Evans. Let me see. Was it Luke Evans? He yeah. When Luke Zeus? when Luke Evans portrayed Zeus in Immortals, I'm like that's perfect because of his yeah. age and his physique, like. Why? Why would you expect someone of that magnitude to be to be old and, and brittle Ooh, versus Trent. like prime time? Trent Arnold Trent would be a good with Zeus. Zeus baked. <laughs> Transformers: The movie is coming back to theaters. Yeah, I got to like, see that. So Arnold is, uh, would be a good actually, Zeus. Hey, then... Arnold! They could really do him up. Yeah, he'd be good. Go ahead, Lydia. Thank you, Ed. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Sean Connery's still alive. No. Too bad. I was, I was saying, you know what else movies coming back I saw? I almost bought tickets for it and I realized I was busy that weekend. Is during uh, May 4th for May 4th. Yeah. They're Phantom, gonna do the Menace Skywalker. Gonna, Phantom Menace is going to be in the theaters where I'm at. They're going to yeah. do a Skywalker saga on May 4th. That guy was the bargeman from Hobbit. Mm hmm. Yeah, oh, Luke okay. Evans played an amazing Zeus. He was is that Zeus? Yeah, that's that's him as Zeus. I think I watched this then. I think I watched this. What was yeah, this? Tar- What's the name it's of called it? A, it's called Immortals. Tarsim directed it. Like he's he's a wildly cool. visual Yeah, it came out a few like years ago, right? It yeah. came out about a decade ago. Yeah, I've seen this. I uh, Henry Henry Cavill plays Theseus in it. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen this. I need to watch this movie again now that you and, mentioned. And John Hurt plays an old brittle man who's like uh, kind of like the wise man who's giving like Theseus the little little nudges of info, you know. But it's almost like a different form of Zeus. But this is like Zeus in his glory right here, like when he comes down and kicks ass and stuff. Pimp Daddy Zeus getting bitches pregnant with his reign and shit. That's I mean, how he does Henry, it. Henry Henry Cavell would make a great Zeus. Mm hmm. They can and make then, him um, a little older, you know. Russell, like Russell, Col- Russell Cole plays Zeus in Thor, doesn't he? We need Russell Brand as Zeus then. No, that. Just out uh, there just <laughs> going off on wild <laughs> tangents. <laughs> Russell Brand would be Pan. Let's not kid anybody. Oh, my <laughs> God. I'm, just trying to picture, I, I'm trying to picture Russell Brand and Zeus. And wow. Zeus that's hilarious. 
He'd be a little pan trying to seduce the sprites and shit down in the forest. So what are we going to do? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I know. We're going to go. <laughs> You're something with your little accent, Susie. Yeah. Can I tell you what I did yesterday? Unless it's incriminating, go ahead. Okay, it's not that incriminating, but a little okay. bit. I went to run an errand, and then I realized I was only hop, skip, and a jump away from the casino. So I went to the casino, which is legal here. And um, I sat down, and I I spent maybe five hours playing Texas Hold'em, right? Mm -hmm. And I proceeded the whole time to never be down, always be up. And I walked out just like feeling like like a mile high because I, I have won so much. <laughs> and at, at the table I was at, it's always all guys, you know, and they all think the girl can't play, you know. But when I walked away, I walked away with the biggest stack. So I was flying high yesterday. So groceries were on them. I, and mm -hmm. I did buy groceries after, right afterwards. I played with that money. So that's, all right. that's a better story than the story I thought you were going with was that you went to the casino and then you couldn't go to the grocery store. No, <laughs> I'm responsible. So I went to the store when I saw the casino and I said, hey. Hey, fuck groceries. <laughs> maybe I can have prime rib for dinner instead of ground beef. <laughs> nope, we're having it. Talk we're having, no, I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna say, nope, we're gonna have a cup of noodles today. That's right. We're having hamburger helper. Yeah. Without the hamburger. <laughs> no cup of noodles. <laughs> wait, wait. We're having cup of noodles, but sorry, there's no water. Crunchy crunchy ramen. <laughs> crunchy ramen, there you go. <laughs> and and you need to share. <laughs> Oh my goodness. If you, you could go anywhere God. in the world right now, where would you go? If you, had, like, if you had like a plane ticket today to go anywhere and spend like a week, where would you go? To bed. <laughs> I'm going to feel bad for you, Mark. You need more sleep, huh? I'm so sorry. Mm. I'm going I'm going to Augusta to go join Mark in bed. Ah. I I'm call little spoon. Up. I call yeah. little spoon. So so you're you're sharing the bed? It's a is a king size bed? It's yeah, that's, only, that's only proper for body me, work. You know? God, if, it's, if it's just me and Rob, I think a twin will do. A twin would do? Yeah, a twin. <laughs> Keep extra warm. <laughs> Don't steal the covers. <laughs> you know where to put your hands between the pillows. So. Those aren't pillows. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would, I would just go on vacation pillows. early and just get to St. Simon right now. I'm counting days. So you like beach? I like beach. Would Some people like beach. beach? I, I don't. I don't like. Go, I don't like going and sitting on the sand and the the daylight. But I like being by the ocean. If that's what so, you yeah, mean. you like where water meets uh, uh, land. Brack, brackish areas. No. Brack, where would you go? Where would I? Go? I don't know. Anywhere in the world. Come on. Uh, where do I get to bring my wife? Yes. Uh, no, that's a fair question. Because yeah, if know. if not, he's, he's coming to a con. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like, she's all told me she's like so it's coming about like I guess Jordan Con is happening this weekend or next weekend or something. She's all, but I'm not going. I'm like, oh, she loves Michael Jordan. Yeah, she's huge. He, wrong Jordan, Robert Jordan. But she, they just go to a conference and talk shit about LeBron James for three days, and then they go home. <laughs> LeBron and don't don't and Kobe don't forget and also talk down yeah. on Kobe. Yeah. Well, they stopped talking shit about him a few years ago. Yeah, yeah, I know. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, it's cool to sexually assault people. It's weird how it's weird, oh, how, Rob, death changed, it's weird how death changes people's opinions of people, isn't it? Not not OJ. <laughs> Izzy, where would you go? If you could go anywhere. If I could, again, is this the same rules apply with with a wild? Yeah, you can bring yeah, your wife. You can but, bring uh, your wife. Go ahead. The problem is I have to travel by plane, so I don't know. I'll you go can to teleport there. Let's just pretend you teleport. No, 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 no. So we'd like to travel I'll, by cruise ships. I'll so. go to P. I will go to PR. Public Puerto relations. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto, Puerto Rico. That's where Puerto I will go. Puerto Rico. 
I'm going to you guys can get some rice. Go to the homeland. I'm going to I'm going to like either Bavaria oh, yeah. in Germany or I'm going to like the Swiss Alps. I'm going Ooh. to the base of the Swiss Alps because I've been there before and it's the most beautiful shit I've ever fucking seen in my life and I felt like close to God or something. Oh, that's amazing. Talk about Alaska. We're at yeah. Lady you to Alaska? The base of the Swiss Alps in Switzerland. Oh, nice. Um, I stayed at a at a campsite. What's that? Do you know the alt? This is a weird question. What's the altitude there? God, is it, um, like you're are you already well above sea level at the base of them? Yeah, so it's it was in Bern, Switzerland, where I went. I think that's B E R N. B E R N. Oh, okay. Yeah, looking. Bern, Switzerland is where we were, and um, let me see altitude. Bern, Switzerland altitude. Um, <sighs> it's at only uh, eighteen hundred feet above sea level. Uh, and Swiss Alps. Um, in in Switzerland, Swiss Alps. Switzerland. Rob, you said you go to Alaska. No, no, I said that's how when she's describing how beautiful everything was, and which is, I said that's how I felt about Alaska. But my mom and uh, my mom's going there in a couple of weeks. Uh, Alaska. Hi. Yeah, she said it's a crap shot because it's just the beginning of their spring season or yes. whatever. So it could That's either true. be really shitty still like winter weather or it could be nice, but the, it's kind the, of a The first time we went to Alaska, it was like that. It was like the it was the um beginning of spring season mm -hmm. and so it was actually really cool because there was still a lot of snow, but it was there was a runoff everywhere, so like when you went to these the train rides or any of these excursions that we were going on, there was, you know, snow melt runoff going on, but you know, some of the, some of the t places up there, you got to remember that they're depending upon where you're going in Alaska, mm -hmm. elements of it are a rainforest. So even though it's not a, it's not a tropical rainforest, it's still a rainforest, which means there's a lot of fucking rain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and to the point, like, like one of the towns, they have this thing that says, look, the average rainfall in the is basically a quarter of an inch a day and wow. so every so it's like if you get there in a day and it doesn't rain at some point during the day that that's a fabulous day <laughs> it's, yeah those are some of the most beautiful like i've never been to bavaria but i want i've heard it's it's gorgeous and like i've seen pictures i just like so i grew up on farmland i want to be in a fucking pretty I like my I like mountains. I'm not gonna fucking try to like climb them, but mm -hmm. yeah. I never felt so intimidated or so like in awe of natural like mm, things until I went. I was like I was at the base of the Alps and I was just like Jesus Christ, this is. Cool. I liked when we went. To, we went to you know Pikes Peak from up there. Being like, you can you can see across multiple states. Wow. You're up so high, looking down into the plains, you can basically see out a couple states out. It's um, pretty crazy, but mm -hmm. I don't know if I given right now because there's no, I don't know too many places that I'd care to necessarily go to off the top of my head this moment. Okay. Um, I do. Uh, part of me always wants to go um, to um, Connecticut um, because there's. I want to go to New Haven. My my family established, landed there, and helped establish the colony there. And I'd love to go through some of the small town libraries oh, and, find, and yeah. find the go through the, like the genealogical records, some of the old it's township old. records and stuff, and and do some additional research into my family's uh, early times here. Rob, uh, I have no doubt you could write a little family history book that you could. Carry I wouldn't on write a book family. that's would that would be atrocious, but um, but I do have. I mean, I have a bunch of research already that's been done on on my family stuff. A lot of including like the old maps of the town and where the where our property was within the initial plots that were handed out. You should go back and reconquer it. That's right. Reclaim it. Just walk up one day. No, yeah. You know, no, no, no. Say this is mine. See this map. It says so. <laughs> no, but I, I just, I just no, think that would be and somewhat you have to interesting do that, for and then me. You just my wife wouldn't care. But... Yeah, just go go piss on your property line. <laughs> this is mine. 
<laughs> just walk up. That's how it's done. The only what are you doing? Way, oh, marking my territory again. <laughs> yep. oh, it's all good. Yep. Have you guys ever been to Niagara Falls? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. Yes. It's really loud. It's really yes. loud, and it's scary. It scared me because it's so loud. I just think it's cool how they have like the old post marker where the falls used to be mm -hmm. and how they're like they're just steadily working their way into Canada because of erosion. I've only I mean, I've only you got water that it's Superman. Yeah, I mean like that that water is gonna chisel that's powerful water. It chisels its way through the earth. So yeah, pretty water fast. does that, yeah. That's what I heard. Grand pretty Canyon fast. school made that claim for years. It's a thing, apparently. That I don't I've been to the Grand Canyon. That was a couple times, but I've flown over it, but I've never been to it. When when we graduated, I think it was actually our, our sophomore year in college. We took a road. Mary and I, we and some friends, we took a road trip. We drove down to the Grand Canyon and then across Hoover Dam and into Vegas and then back, um, and you know, including stopped at like some of the little roadside attractions like there was like bedrock city in like air in like arizona or something like this like little roadside attraction where they like had some bedrock flintstones themed shit there and you just like walk around <laughs> you know the road, those roadside attractions that mm -hmm. they used to have that were just great it's like yeah, so we did sure check out some of those and the grand canyon was a more rapid <laughs> event than niagara falls Rob, think, just, it wasn't. Event? It wasn't quick. Either either one of them what didn't happen really quick overnight. You well, know? The, the Grand Canyon is getting associated with meltwater pulse one B more and more every day, and it's looking like the Younger Dryas era and the cataclysm that happened that got us out of the last ice age did a, a vast majority helping hand of carving out the Grand Canyon as well as the Scablands. It over still there. didn't happen overnight. No, definitely not overnight. Most definitely not. Rob, what time is it where you're at right now? It's 6.47 in the morning. Thank you. I is can't see my time. So. Rapid, rapidly coming up on time to go to Romania. Yeah, well, that's, that's cut off time because I need to... I'm rapidly coming up on time to go to work. <sighs> you need to take a nap, Mark. Jeez, you need to call into work today and be like, listen, I cannot function. My, I, I took I, one, my brain won't work today, you know? Like, I took I one from about 3.30 a.m. to 7.20 this morning. He'll be fine. He's going to He's gonna go to work, take a line of Coke. He'll be good. <laughs> no, I'll just, five just one line. before you go to work. I'll take about 10,000 milligrams of B12 and chase it down with an energy drink, and then I'll go in there and get to work. There you go. <laughs> Sounds delicious. <laughs> well, they're, they're cherry flavored, so they're not bad. Oh, thank you, Scotty. He's dog tired, so they'll fit right in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's sitting here is making me feel tired. Once I get moving, I'm fine. And then I stop and just shut down. That's what I did. Yeah, I came home from work, sat down and fell asleep for a couple hours and woke up on the couch like uncomfortable. And I stayed up late doing stuff like uh, watching Fallout and making content just because I wasn't tired. And then I didn't go back to sleep till about 2.30ish. But I got to hang out with the wife when she got home, which was fun. That's only the second time in the past like uh, eight days that we've seen each other awake. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. I go to I go to work when it's dark and uh, come home and no one's here. And she comes home when it's dark. She uh, she's like dealing with the after festivities of Masters. Why are you guys looking so beat? It's Friday. <laughs> you guys Master are like Lady Hawk. That movie, Lady because, Hawk. Because Friday is the end of the fucking week. Been it's beat Friday, down. and we're trying to get through this last little pinch. Well, yeah, exactly. Once I get through today, then tomorrow, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed. Actually, we bright-eyed, bushy-tailed this evening after I've taken my afternoon nap. <laughs> afternoon <laughs> nap? Fuck you, Rob. Friday on front. No, dude, I don't normally take a nap on the afternoon, but Fridays. I don't believe you. Know. It's a hundred percent because I get up early for this show, and I can never get to sleep early. I always try. I can't. So I get minimal sleep. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm oh, lucky. Man. Like with the kids their age, I get like a little thirty to an hour long yesterday. nap on most off days. 
Rob, are you not giving us your best self? Is what you're saying? Because you're coming half sleep deprived for the show every morning. Look, I'm four cups and four cups of coffee in already. So all right, okay. Well, that's legit. That's that's, that's effort. That's, that's dedication. Effort. The problem is, is the, the coffee's going to run out around nine a.m. and then after then. By the time noon hits, I've been in this chair for six hours already, and I still have the some a few more hours to go for work. Wow! So once work's the last couple of hours, I if I have to do anything that's in spreadsheet intensive, that shit I try, try to push it off till Monday because I will fucking fall asleep if I have to do too much brain function in the afternoon. Are, are any of y'all watching the tournament this weekend? No. But my dad is, I'm sure, because you know, I'll be getting a, 70, I'll be 70 plus year old white man. Of course, he's watching golf. Yeah, I'll be uploading. Do you have to fit all those criteria to watch it? No, you don't have to Am fit I them to watch young? it, but it, you don't have to fit them to I'm watch white. it. But it's guaranteed that if you do fit all those criteria, oh, okay, that you were watching it. That's so, the, like, if you fit all those criteria, it's really outside of your control. You're watching it. Yeah, exactly. Got you. Got you. It's like watching Matlock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now I get it. <laughs> Matt, did you just say Matlock? Yeah, yes. He put, he put Andy wow. out there like that. That's a throwback. It's like, it's like you could be young to watch it, but if you're old, you have to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, yeah, I'm concerned because you're falling asleep in your lazy boy chair, right? For naps. Yes. That's now, so I'm worried about you. Because I'm not because, a boy. Because no, you don't have you're not wearing on. your CPAP. CPAP yeah. CPAP but, I mean, <laughs> but I'm reclined. <laughs> we don't want to. We don't want to lose Rob to Sids. Not this late in life. I so, know. <laughs> like one day it's gonna be the lazy boy is gonna be like you know. In the rec in the recliner. But it, instead of Sids, it would be sad. I think. Yeah. Sad. Then, then you guys will be. A, then Mark will have to run comics screen cancer completely on his own. Well, him and DJ. But no, um, I was about to make in, a joke. Well, in the recliner, that. it's fine. <laughs> I don't have I don't have as many problems with the recliner because you're in you're, a different. Because you're back a little, or because you're up a little. Yeah, bit. because you're in a reclined position, so it, it's the not. So the weight and everything is is distributed differently, and so it's not. It's not help. It's not. Um, having as many issues with my breathing. Okay. What do you do on a plane if you fall asleep? I generally don't fall Who's asleep driving? on planes, but I don't have flat beds on my planes. I, I'm sitting upright, so. Pretty uncomfortably, too, on a well, plane. I don't know. I've not flown coach for a while, so. Not yet, Ag. Not yet. I mean... I'm a tiny person, and those seats are small. That's why I fly first class. Well, fuck. That's nice. Yeah, but he doesn't call it that to everyone's face just on here. When he gets there, he calls it business class. <laughs> That's to not offend the... What, what I, just call call it, I just call it class. That's to not offend <laughs> the peons. <laughs> like class. You can either fly class or you fly steerage. <laughs> My kids, they fly steerage. <laughs> yeah, planes. So, so plane flights are convenient, but I'm not gonna lie. Like, that, yeah, yeah. A few hours in a tube in the sky, and like it can get a little like. All right, I'm gonna get I, I yeah, I mean, I joke. Look, if I'm flying like to Vegas or so, or down to L.A. or something, which I generally drive mm -hmm. to like L.A., but if I if I am gonna fly to those, you know, I'll I'll fly Southwest or something that's cheap and it's not that big of a deal. But when I'm flying like to Heroes Con. Only the best. I'm so, look. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm finding myself first of all a direct flight because I want to minimize my air tra time in the t traveling my plane to begin with. And I'm if I'm going to be sitting there for five fucking hours, guess what? I want a chair. I want a chair that's big mm -hmm. enough for me. I have a little room I can stretch out. I can relax. You yeah. want champagne? I, you want no, lobster? I don't, I don't, you know you what, want I don't, oysters? I don't you want drink. caviar? Air, airplane lobsters. That's what Rob <laughs> told me he was looking for. I don't drink to. all that stuff, but yeah. But, you know, it's like I'm going to, but I, I will spend the money, the extra money, to be comfortable in my travel. Uh, ARs go, yeah, first class and black cars. That's true. I do have a black car scheduled to pick me up. But in my defense, you know how much it costs me $5 more to schedule 
to have a black car pick me up with a professional driver than it does to have an Uber pick me up and take me to the San Francisco airport from where I'm at. <laughs> and and then so th and when I'm traveling, the my flight like leaves at like I don't know five in the morning, so I gotta be going to the airport at three a.m. Do I want some regular weirdo who's driving me at freaking three in the morning, or I want a professional driver? I'll take the professional driver for an extra five bucks. Thanks. Do you make him wear the hat? <laughs> he has to wear white gloves. Has to be in the suit. Rob brings his own driver's gloves and chauffeur hat to hand him when he pulls up to get him. If you just put these on. Um, excuse me, can you open the door? What the what? No, no, they for? do that. Is he? They do that. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna have to get out of here. I just got a work email. That's all right. We're all we're, we're all actually we're, we're, we're ending the stream because Mark's gonna go to work, and I actually have to do some real work in Romania today. So. Thank you. I will remind everyone: don't forget to get your free comic book day books. Is it this? Is it this Saturday? Saturday? May, 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 May the fourth on Star May the Wars. Fourth be with you. May the fourth. I'm unveiling my set. The day, the, the day before, the day before Short Box Live. All right. So you, Short Box Live. Well, I'll it's see a you convention guys later. here where I'm at. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, bye, lady. Promote everything. Everybody watch everybody. Hooray. Yeah, all that you. stuff. All that good stuff. Much yeah. love. Don't forget, hey, there's new merch at the Legion of Comics uh, merch store. So check that out. Do it. All that other fun stuff. Make wait, sure wait. comics. 